Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing cost first. Yeah, yeah. So I guess let me introduce the puzzle again. Um, so this is... Uh... <laughs> Was that your screenshot for uh, <laughs> Tosca <Autumn>? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, so this is Hydroponic Solution, week three of the 2023 Opus Magnum Tournament. Um, these are the inputs and the output. And the two cycles were cost uh, and cycles. Is that our metrics? Or two, two categories. Um, so yeah, and we're going to start with cost. Um, the sort of key thing about cost is that in order to make this output, you need a bonder, a uh, debonder, and a arm. And the issue is that if you want to put all of these things around the output, uh, there's not enough space for both of these inputs. You don't have to put the input. <laughs> so yeah, you, you don't. Put one of the inputs. Yeah, you don't. You don't need this input, um, and you can use this one to get all of the reagents. But then you need to get. Uh, you need. Yeah, you get. You get waste. A massive pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and um, yeah. So the secondary was area. So the goal was to reduce the amount of waste that you could possibly do, and we'll see various tricks to do that. I wonder how many waste ball solves there will be. <clears throat> yeah. Probably not. Uh, so first up, we have a new submitter to the 2023 tournament. Um, Is it spoilers that nobody had finite area? Mm. So yeah, we have a new submitter, uh, Grimmy. So welcome, Grimmy, to the tournament. <laughs> Ah yes, with a <laughs> gold <laughs> area. <laughs> nice, nice cost puzzle. Yeah, so I this mean, <laughs> this does uh, solve the the puzzle, but um... I already know. <laughs> oh, it's forty four cycles. Okay. <laughs> but as you can see, it has a lot of glyphs and a lot of arms. Um, so for cost, it tends to be you want to use as few arms as possible and as few glyphs as possible. So uh, this this does solve the puzzle, but as a cost solve, why is this forty four cycles? <laughs> it's uh, I <clears throat> I'm pretty oh, sure this is a. I see the I see the worst latency now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like a oh, it's, uh, rejected oh, it's also layout. Not like, it's also not six R. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a whole lot more sense. I think this is a possible CG solve that uh, couldn't be made to work past the first input because of um, Sounds about right. collisions. Well, well, 50th place. Uh, yeah. This, this well, we got 50 submitters again. Maybe minor spoilers this, this, here. This Grimmy player sounds like a new <clears throat> player, but um, <laughs> you know, just keep it up, um, improve your cost skills, and maybe you'll be pretty good at this game eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, yeah, we just, look forward uh, to it. Use uh, nine less arms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up we have a big drop to 7T Storm. Uh, 70 Whoa! Storm. No. Two pistons. Yeah, so this is a little more like it. Uh, we got two arms instead of many, but uh, they are pistons. So. Pistons expensive. Yeah, it's kind of a tempting thing to use pistons in cost solves because, like, it's one arm and it can do so much, but that extra 20G is. Uh, often too much and you can usually accomplish the same work with a single arm uh just it's a little harder but yeah this is um pretty good also yeah there's it's building two at the same time yeah it's building two at the same time another thing about this one is that for some reason the one on the bottom it builds the whole thing and then makes this bond and then breaks the bond. <laughs> and then debonds it. Yeah, I'm assuming this is because it, it's less like the Area? bond, or like the the gap is in the wrong place. Without this, like it would end up like if say we remove both of these. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. Let it go. Well, okay, that's not gonna work. Um, never mind. I <laughs> stop tinkering with solves on screen. <laughs> <Not tinkering. laughs> but yeah. Um, that's definitely uh, something I found interesting about this solve, but yeah, it's and it is weird how it makes mm -hmm. two at the same time. Um, I feel like probably yeah. if you just made it in one pipeline, it would be able to be lower cost. But um, one interesting thing is that it's making. I guess the way it's being broken down is into these uh, earth water pairs. So 
it makes it a little easier to think about it just in terms of single pairs instead of two pairs at the same time. Uh, next up, we have Chrysotep. Cost of 125, but 880 cycles. So this is one oh, arm. Piston arm. But it's on a very long yeah, track. It's like it's on a long track. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's making this sort of C shaped pattern, which is very familiar to anyone who has uh, solved or even thought about this puzzle, <laughs> uh, breaking it down into three of these C shapes. Surprisingly, I have not used that C shaped pattern much at all. Oh, yeah. Um, In either metric. So, yeah, a lot of track like, here, a lot of glyphs. Yeah. The track shape reminds me of Swamp Fiber. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> but, yeah, the fact that there's a piston track and uh, more glyphs than are strictly necessary makes this um, less, or have more cost than uh, other solves might. Uh, next up is Redstone Paradox at 60G. Very big drop. So 60G. this, Yeah, this is finally mm. min glyphs. Oh, it's still a piston. Yeah, but with a piston. Um, I so, wonder if we'll be getting a duplication calcification. Um, is that still in the, within the realm, realm of possibility? It is in the puzzle. Uh, for cost, it's it's I mean, not in the yeah, realm of possibility. Yeah, but I wonder if anybody will fall for it. Yeah, I mean, in cost it can't be because that would be 30G. And this is uh, thirty G plus twenty G is uh, uh thirty G plus ten G plus twenty G sixty G. I mean, it's so possible. <laughs> We're still in sixty G. Well, because it would be if you take away the piston and make Single it a normal arm, arm if it, if it, that's minus twenty G. But then you 20. add a calcifier and a uh, duplicator. That's thirty. 30? Yeah, fifty. It would be no, that's still fifty. 70. And then the bonder, so sixty. And then a debonder. You don't need a deep. Oh, right, you still need it. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No dupe. Okay, Sorry, yeah. but Arm bonder. There's no dupe. dupe. You need a... Well, there is a dupe, yeah. But you need yeah, a... Yeah, but the shape is wrong. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, you don't need a debonder because you can... Yeah, yeah. You can duplicate off of this as like a catalyst, the longer input. That's true. Yeah, but like there's no three long stick inside the... Right, but you don't need the oh, three wait, long yeah, stick. You can just you use, can just use the single yeah. input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. It just sits there as a catalyst. That works. But yeah, it's not me. It's but, this, uh, it would be the same cost as From this. your comments, I don't think anybody went for that. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a lot of work for a trap. For suboptimal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe somebody did it in cycles. I didn't have time to look through those before the stream, so there may be some surprises um, waiting for us there. But, uh, but yeah. Um, next up is Petricat with a pretty big area drop, um, but still a piston. Even Spain. <laughs> yeah, the comment is uh, reverse peels the input. I'm sure there's some clever way to stick the waters on the double earth stick as you're assembling it, but I'm not sure if it'll actually save any area uh, with my level of expertise at least. Yeah, I see. So this is uh, oh, yeah, sort of this is quite a bit of area. taking off all the waters and actually, putting them to the side. No, it doesn't. It's not, that's not that bad an area. Mm -hmm. I can press P and see here. just big. Yeah, it does manage to use area on only one side of the arm, which is good. Yeah, that's very helpful. Um, if you're spinning stuff all the way around the arm, that's where you can really use a lot of area. But this keeps it all on one side, which is uh, nice. And yeah, it sort of breaks it down into... And also into... me saying this is a bad area probably tells you what my area <laughs> is approximately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, and then this it also breaks it down into a central ring and then bonds the waters to the central ring, which is another way of breaking down the uh, way of building the output here that's different from these C-shapes we were talking about before or the individual two sticks. Yeah. Unfortunately, piston arm. Right, yeah. So yeah, the, again, there's a piston, so that's plus 20G um, from the theory min. Now we have a 5G. Theory min isn't easy. Mm -hmm. Now we have a 5G drop, which means uh, no tracks. piston. Yeah, there must be three tracks or... Triple track. Yeah, nice. or something like that. That's an interesting input layout. Uh huh. Seems like a hassle to grab the longer input. Yeah. Seems like, yeah, it gets rotated first and then swung. They probably subjected themselves willingly to that because it saves area. 
mm-hmm. I'd imagine. I don't think it does. Just start with the input in the rotated position, I think. Pivoted position. Uh-huh. I'm not going to tinker with it, though. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to change your instructions, and ZooMod is horrendous with that. Yeah. Assuming you still have it? I do, yeah. It's, uh... Although, I'm not sure it'll be necessary. Most of the pack is 50G? I hope. <laughs> okay, next up, uh, we have Jemu, the goofy, silly, wacky cost solve. Um, comment is this wacky is for real. We have track. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel kind of smart for me to figure out a one track solve in parentheses. I love tissues. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is like. Um, actually, so when I was playtesting this uh, puzzle, this is the type of solve I made because I didn't want to go through the pain of making waste chains and such, but uh, I also didn't you want didn't, to. <laughs> you didn't make a cost. You didn't make a min cost off on playtesting. <laughs> no, uh, Haxton did though. So thank you, Haxton. Haxton did. Okay. <laughs> Haxton's will be Haxton's will be the canonical intended solve. Mm-hmm. Paxton once again carrying the playtesting. Right. <laughs> but this is the um, the sort of way that you think of first to make a solve with both inputs being placed, uh, which is have the track so you can access both sides of the bonder, both this sides is, of the debonder. This is 86 area. Uh, yeah, 86 so, I wonder how long we'll actually stay on 50 gold, even though a lot of people are talking about, like, oh, maybe we'll stay on 50 gold. Since a lot of people are talking about it, it feels like more people are stuck on having a track than I thought there would be. Mm-hmm. But oh. at the same time, listening to people talk in the Opus Magnum chat, it seems like a lot of people also found less than 50 gold. Mm-hmm. So we have a pretty small drop here in area to 83 area. Um... This one's oh. kind of interesting. It uses a three-length arm, uh, which allows the whole thing to be pivoted around um, without having to rotate it around the arm. And also, a three-length arm on a track has a lot of access, so there's like tons of places it can grab from. This swing is maybe a little bit unfortunate. I'm not sure that this mm-hmm. hex of area above the input here is necessary. Um, if someone's saying maybe top 40 will be 40 gold, that sounds about right. <laughs> mm. but yeah. I wonder if a two-link thumb would have worked here or, or if it would have crashed. Um, looking at the pivot points... I think it might have it crashed might be wor- It might work there. with some- I mean, it would definitely work with some finessing, but uh, right, right, I don't like, know if it's going to work as is. Yeah. Like I think that one would work. That one would work. That that one wouldn't work. That pivot right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would crash right yeah. there. It would require some finessing, but it's seems definitely seems possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up, we have a one area drop to Kazian. Nice. <laughs> Guilty bystander was teasing a 50G82 area solution. <laughs> well, here in luck. Okay, so. Do we have a, yes. Uh, do we have a description? Yes. Clock spin, <laughs> drop, grab right, right, plus, drop, minus, left, 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 grab right, 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 drop, plus, grab, minus, clock spin, drop, plus. I dove into the world of possibilities and built strings of hundreds <laughs> of instructions, all of which were blockaded by hydroponic geometry. I build production cabinets specifically to turn intermediates into under, other intermediates for faster testing. I reeled an entire waste chain in, flipped around the molecule, and spooled it back out. It was too much. I am desperate. I need more than 40 gil, House Bergen. Oh, he Plus, remembered that it gilled oh, up. Oh, he knows <laughs> minimum is 40. <laughs> Plus grab minus left drop left grab witter spin witter spin drop left grab witter spin drop right right plus grab witter spin witter spin. Alchemist Kazian, you still not a brick. Still not a break. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's his Reddit username. It is. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. saw his Reddit. <laughs> definitely, definitely made his Reddit after for Opus Magnum. But yeah, definitely no shame in taking the easy way out for uh, these solves because it can be a mm-hmm. pain. I'm just lucky I found the easy way out for 40. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, next up, uh, another 50. This is obviously I mean, min plus 10, but A. 71 area. A, yeah, 71 area. A, a point that Apio brings up in chat about costs being, um, in his words, too deep for new players. I do find cost is like, cost is a metric that's very not beginner friendly, but it can be all right once you like know all the little is. tricks. Yeah, once you know all the little tricks for cost and stuff like dubious cost becomes more approachable. But for new players, it kicks your ass because without all those little tricks and stuff, it's yeah, it, get, it's very daunting. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah we like get we better do, at the game. Dubious cost lets get gets less dubious. <laughs> and it's very. I don't it's think cool. there are many <laughs> puzzles that are still dubious in cost. Mm -hmm. It's very kind of unforgiving too, because you can really get yourself down a path that involves doing a ton of work that's not actually necessary, but you don't realize that. Oh. <laughs> like what happened to yeah. me in week one of uh, Big East tournament. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one metric for that tournament I actually made a solve for. Mm -hmm. Wait, which one? <laughs> uh, the one with the two outputs. Um, that were sort of weird shapes. The metrics were sum and cost. I don't remember what it was called. Maybe somebody in chat knows. Something. Whose tournament was it? Big East tournament. It was week one. Oh, week one. Put and put Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Oh, that was what? Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, we've had, so far we had. Uh... Actually, you're the first one in like a while where cost isn't. <laughs> The first metric. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, usually it's Potent like... Potent portables had cost. Uh, improved, improved explosive vial was cost. Mm -hmm. Rust removal was cost. RPO technically also had cost in the first week. Yeah, you're the first one who doesn't have cost in the first week. <laughs> no, we got Lex Cycles instead. <laughs> okay, so next up we have Jay Gark uh, with a 59 area at 50G. Um, so this may be familiar to some people, this pattern that you see happening oh, here. <laughs> I see. So I yeah, see. The, the note is, uh, an adaptation from my min gold attempt, ever elusive. I see it, I see it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I this... feel like this person in particular is going to kick themselves when they see some of the min cost solves. Yeah, uh -huh. definitely, uh, uh, keep watching because there is a way to make I this was sort gonna... of thing. So yeah, this is interesting because it uses a track, but both the bonder and the debonder are half access. Um, uh -huh. And so if you think about it, there's one, two, three, four, five things that the arm needs to access. So, so technically... Many people are talking about this in chat as if they haven't seen it. That That's actually does surprise me. I thought this would be method. I thought yeah. this would be that new, well that that well used. I I I would call this method actually, but it, it's okay. a, a lot of people. A lot of people didn't find it, um, but we'll yeah we'll we'll keep going here. Uh, so good job, Jagar. You're very close. <laughs> so close. So yeah. so close. And here's a tertiary. Practical, your plate is all hacked, and yeah, I figured <laughs> that seems like a very blank. Yes, we finally got a solve from IE. <laughs> yeah, so this one has a note. Uh, this solution is not good, but it doesn't matter. I still had fun assembling it, and I wish everyone to see the product about of my work. On a 50 gold solve. <laughs> and help me improve. What I absolutely do not like is the lack of a button that runs the simulation at CPU limit speed. I offer beer and chocolate to whoever builds this button into a game mod. Well, there is this. Dude, it's 754 cycles. Uh, so yeah, you they can were, use um, cheat engine. <laughs> I remember um, IE's <laughs> complaint was actually that uh, apparent, uh, from what I can gather, IE has a really slow computer or something because their like uh, simulation speed was really slow. At least <laughs> cheat engine to mine, is not the game. <laughs> like when when I alt click, it just like runs through dozens of in cycles but per second. Alt click is speed cap by processor, so if he has a slow computer, it won't help if we make the game run at processing speed. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, well, actually, I do agree with the general 
sentiment that I like running the game vanilla as much as I can. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't use Cheat Engine even for like really high cycle cost solves and like and stuff. Mm-hmm. I uh I've only been solving tournament puzzles in modded now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, the this only one... thing I use it for, honestly, is zooming out and looking at my solution afterwards. But uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, this one is interesting because it is uh, pretty low instructions. I believe it's doing one third p. Oh, interesting. So it has some conditional logic for. You see here, it's trying to grab whatever might have been there, and then it leaves it on the output, so it will drop on the output if it matches the output shape. So, very uh, nice way of organizing it. It's barely the instructions barely go off screen on my uh, screen. The fact that it's not one p makes a bit more sense. Why it, uh, I was complaining about having to alt click as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, honestly, seeing solves like this, it kind of makes me wish I made the tertiary instructions because uh, I think these partial that would have been nice. Uh, I would have wanted that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just never. Except it seems like it would probably be a pileup. Yeah, never really considered it, but if I were to do it again, I think I would have chosen instructions as the tertiary. Area area tertiary is fine. Hmm. Your cycles tertiary. I think. The area was Not secondary. Area, yeah, yeah, secondary. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, area secondary um, is always what I wanted for this, but the tertiary is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mix up tertiaries yeah. and secondaries. Mm. That made me stupid. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, if if cycles was the secondary, then JGAR sol- JGAR solved that method probably would have been like ubiquitous in the cost solves. That just would have been the play. There just wouldn't have been a better play. At least I don't think so. I'm Happy to be proven wrong, mm-hmm. but that gets really fast. That method, but that's Cause that was, yeah, it does. Because mm-hmm. um, Pank's been talking about puzzles being compared to other puzzles. Um, I compared it to Lustrous Syrup because this Lustrous kind of same syrup. trick is used to great effect. It pretty much killed the Lustrous Syrup cycles like game. Um, only the top two selves found it, but. Um, yeah, it was a really powerful method for cycle secondary. Oh, right. Lustrous Syrup is a uh, weekly puzzles. I should really, uh, you know, be more active in the weekly. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think it was Zorflex who was mentioning to me uh, about that in DMs. I was like, oh, yeah, that I forgot about that puzzle. I <laughs> wasn't really <laughs> paying attention. Weeklies do not exist. <laughs> I just yeah. like sweating over the regents and play testing, and you guys didn't even know it existed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 53. Yeah. yeah, this one, 53 area. Yeah. So, this one you can tell it's been area optimized because of the EQ glyphs everywhere. Um, and yeah, this one is using the sliding motion to some effect here. And also, another thing um, you'll notice. Well, actually, no, wait, not this one, but probably the next one. But yeah, you can see it's like swinging right onto the output here in a way that uh, doesn't take up too much space. So it's clearly uh-huh. they, they thought about what the last few yeah, they moves are about here. Area. Uh-huh. We're approaching the bottom limit of track uh, solves, I feel. Yeah, this is getting very low area for. Um... I mean, maybe it could be marking things with equilibrium. It's probably pretty good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, who was saying two length arm was ideal for 50G area? Because yeah, this is looking pretty good. I think it was RPL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely has. Yeah, there he is in chat. Length two supremacy. (laughs) Okay, so next up is Moraconda. All right, so how did the Uh, wizards do it? So yeah, another length two. How did the wizards do it? Half axis. (laughs) <laughs> on both glyphs <clears throat> so this one is interesting because it's using sliding even more than the last puzzle so a lot of pivots um, when building up the Ooh. product oh yeah that looks like it wouldn't have much area at all Uh huh. and then yeah it pivots it over the output like this and then moves it over the output by sliding to output it so yeah only 48 area on that's this one a, very that's clean a lot more sense. yeah very clean uh, 50G solution here. Oh, and I like the two hexes it doesn't use. Yeah, neither of them is the Critelli. What is this? 
Actually, I wonder if you could save a few more hexes by moving the regent towards the arm one hex and having that be like the swing up. I think you'll have to swing in that direction. Well, if you move it that way, the Direction input will spawn regardless. and then you can't move it again. Sorry? Uh, if you move, if your first move is to pull it towards you, then it, you won't be able no, to swing. No, 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 you'd move the region itself towards oh, the Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not entirely sure, though. Mm -hmm. uh, that might not work. Don't know. Yeah. Alright, so next up, we have Tulare with the first 40G. Here we go. Here we <laughs> go. So note is... 5,345 area. <laughs> it's a monstrous solution that traverses the waste stick multiple times per unit of output. I'm sure there are more space and cycles efficient ways to do this, but that's the build order I found. Even with OM clone and a known algorithm, implementing a solution like this is obnoxious. I didn't have it in me to start <laughs> over. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, these wasteful solves are definitely a pain to uh, make. And I uh, made a wasteful solve. <laughs> I made like one sixth of a wasteful solve, and I was like, "Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> 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 fuck this. I'm trying to. I'm gonna find something better." Thankfully, I did. Uh -huh. So, I'm yeah. just I'm I'm just pumped to see Chilair at min cost because yeah. yeah like yeah it has been through. working out mm -hmm. like I can feel Ooh, his I like that slowly rising yeah it's and six P honestly in in some ways these uh like very high effort like solves which I mean high effort in terms of like they're doing the solve itself is doing a lot of work like are more impressive than some of the cleverer ones where it's just like, oh yeah, I looked at lustrous syrup and now I, I know how method. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely more impressive. Uh, but yeah, no, this one's There's scripted no all the way out because the length of this stick is yeah, because changes of chain. and it has to length, walk uh, along it every time. That reminds me of uh, my uh, week three cost of last year. Yeah. Cause like, Except going I back think to I used the track. <laughs> Because, like, going going back to what Panic said about, like, effort with solves like this, that's kind of one of the main ways you learn to, like, get good. It's, like, by doing stuff like this that's, like, high effort, not necessarily worth, you know, the effort because there were simpler methods. But it's, like, it's in doing that stupid stuff that you, you learn to, like, come up with the low effort stuff that actually is quite intelligent, which... Is why players like Tentatig and Biggie and Rolamian stuff can like post such consistently good stuff week after week because for them it's not actually that high effort. They just have very good heuristics, mm -hmm. and that's how you it's like you learn how to get those heuristics by doing like stuff that's at first ignorant, and then you get less ignorant. Right. There are also puzzles where uh, "quote unquote" stupid stuff is the only way. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Very well for that, yeah. And it's hard to tell yeah, beforehand so which puzzle you, you're uh, looking at. Learn how to do this. <laughs> like, there's no nothing that's telling you off the bat that this puzzle has any particular tricks to it that would be helpful. So, if you can't I find the tricks, there was. you have to. I found it. I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch this one go. And yeah, you can see why it has to be scripted out all the way to the end because stick length. the stick length changes every time. At least it's repetitive. Hear the windows. Yeah, I, I know you can hear the it. windows. So I don't know why. If anyone knows how to turn that off, I <laughs> was trying to find it right before the stream and I couldn't. Oh yeah, the window knows it from a cheat engine. Yeah, it does that. Yeah, cheat engine itself is making that noise. I do like um, I do like Pentapig's remark that this combines the output and the waste chain, which was tech that was like discovered for refined bronze cost, one of the hardest cost puzzles, and that was considered a big innovation there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will we ever get Celestial Threadman Theory Min? We did. We did? We did last, we did last year. Huh. Hello, Jasper, finally got it. Nice. 
So now it's just fragrant powders, and then I can't think of a dubious cost puzzle the community hasn't solved. Wow. Celestial Thread seems to be the final frontier on uh, infinite on uh, non-production cost. Yeah, I think it absolutely was. Um, see, this is this is why my cost design philosophy is screw the cost mains. They like it hard anyway, because like 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 we like 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 people who play this game thread. are all masochists. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much like, true. Like we no longer have a, like, we, no, we we no longer have a free space cost puzzle that the cost mains haven't figured out. <laughs> yeah. All right. This I is from Username Void. Can. This is their the solve that they submitted they earlier, it. not the one that I just got oh, okay. because I couldn't uh, get it working in time. Oh, it's a uh, conditional. I see. Um. Yeah, I think they said it was about a 500 area save, which. Uh, I don't think was enough to put that oh, in place. So. I see why they didn't submit the other one, that cycle count. Yeah. So this one also uses a big stick, but um, to make it a little easier it to program, it, out. It, 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 it just acts it's like it has the base. max link stick every time. So I'm going to turn on Cheat Engine here. <laughs> <laughs> Will we finish watching it run the whole thing? Uh, probably not. Oh, no, that's going cycles. on. Yeah, we'll get through it. Oh, actually, oh, it improved it by 2,500 area. But it's the same, like, for the rest of it. Okay, so that may actually affect the rankings then. I can, um... Let me... Yeah, I'll do that after the stream. Uh, put, what about the area? Um, username voids, solution save more area than they were expecting. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can I can put that in because they did send it to me before the deadline. So okay. Oh, that's what they were DMing you about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So next up is uh, not great. <laughs> OM clone solve. Yeah, yeah, the area. The oh, yeah, that's quite a bit. Uh, area can definitely be massively reduced by changing the stick's shape into something fancier, but instead I just took a simple stick solve and changed the very last output. I can tell it's done with uh, an external editor because uh, we have lowercase letters in the solution name. Right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's info suppression. Yeah, that's what I did when I made my uh, waste solve. Mm -hmm. It is. Looking at these waste chain solves, <laughs> looking at these waste chain solves makes me kind of understand why like people were like happy to just like chill on it because. Like it's kind of the conceptually least intimidating way of getting min cost. Mm -hmm. Conceptually less intimidating. I thought it was quite intimidating. I sure didn't want to program it all out. <laughs> oh, that, that's what I mean by conceptually. Like programming, it's intimidating, but actually, like thinking it through, it's just you just uh, build yeah. the hydroponic solution and build the waste you chain, just, and yeah. it's like it's a simple idea. It's just a pain in the ass to program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because, yeah, the built-in game encourages you to optimize costs, but when you actually try and do it, uh, it doesn't... Oh, this, this, this quite... does look easier than uh, my cost of that does that the, the, does the waste chain, though. I mean, I, to be fair, I made a waste ball. But, mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> yeah, it just has to move it back and forth. There's no, like, um, growing uh, stick or walking along a stick or anything like that. Um... Yeah, next up, Svenja. 3,000 area. Oh, we're under 4,000. <laughs> oh yeah, so this one has some conditional 39. logic. Uh, you can tell already. To make uh, things yeah. much Conditional logic doesn't easier. really matter that much. Well, it matters like if you look at how long this instruction tape is. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. like conditional instructions doesn't matter metric-wise as oh, much because yeah, yeah, yeah. cycles are tertiary. Right, yeah. So you're you're reducing your tertiary for a little bit of um, sanity. Sacrificing the chance that you might lose somewhat to someone on a right. area tie at 3,965 area. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Rebix mentioning in chat that if we had a cost puzzle with forced waste, Jinyu probably clears the entire community. Oh, yeah. Jinyu is the master of waste falling. 
That is absolutely a fair statement. I think Ridge is the only one in the community that has ever enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just goes to all the cost solves with waste stick and like Nope, it's no longer a stick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, on, on I, an unrelated note, I do miss Jinyu. Yeah, yeah, hopefully you'll uh participate again at some point, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hope you'll get to see him again. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, no, I, I actually like the solve a lot, the fact that it's doing all the waste management conditionally. Um, just makes it really... It, it feels less oppressive than these scripted out to 5,000 cycles type of things. Uh-huh. Right, it's how many people did do waste ball solves. Because... Yeah, next up is Cadspin at 3666 area. Um, Yo. I think this is my first min gold tourney solution, unless I think of some huge breakthrough wasteless min gold question mark. Uh, I'm not touching cost again. Also, insert think I'm gonna do a wraparound TikTok sound. Uh, unfortunately, I don't not familiar with that sound. But uh, I am I'm not as well no. either. Sorflex. No, nope, can't help you. <laughs> well, <I'll... laughs> but yeah, this uh. Oh yeah, the instructions are a little bit off screen here. Sorry, if it's not the vine boom sound effect, <laughs> then I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not up to date on it. <laughs> this feels slow, but it's only three thousand eight hundred cycles. Mm -hmm. That I'd is actually only... one of the slower souls we've had so far. Oh, okay. Yeah, this seems very slow with how it's building the stick. At least it's not walking it, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's to keep the input suppressed. Yeah. Which is why it's, which is why it's kind of, it feels kind of slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of, yeah, grabs and drops, I think, yeah. But yeah... Uh, next up, Guilty Bystander. GI. We're still in the thousands. I can't be bothered to <laughs> 6P this. We got under 3,000. <laughs> so yeah, this is another small instruction tape solve. Uh, with conditional GI, handling. I see. Is it less than... Is it less than 1P, though? Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, wow. Fractional pay. Yeah, what what P is this? I'm not sure. It might be one six. It might be one third. No, oh, actually, I'm not sure. One third makes sense, but uh, actually, it might yeah, no, one six. Yeah, I think it is one six. One six. Yeah, uh -huh. one six. One six. Yeah, guilty bystander said it in the chat. Uh huh. We might not see waste it. balls because I feel like whoever can actually do waste balls probably found better. Uh huh. I have faith we have one or two waste balls. Wait. Catspin oh, got thirty oh, third right. four times in a row. I'm pretty sure that that happened. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure username voids username void solve new solve is uh, place tire. <laughs> uh, that's that's impressive. Actually, I don't think we we haven't seen that since Rolamni's winning streak, have we? Uh, it's getting the same placement that many times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was in a row, but you know. It's hard to say if it's in a row or not if it's like. Mm -hmm. It's kind of based it off what order the the solutions are presented in, which was kind of mm -hmm. nice because yeah. that because that because yeah because like Rolamni's winning streak could have been made to look less impressive, but it was just presented. So in we'll the just right order. we'll just count like the same week as like simultaneously. Yeah. So yeah, here's a uh, yeah, Mr. No Puzzles. Access the bond or the. Yeah, it's I don't. <laughs> so this is no bow tie footprint no on a stick. So just watch what's going on Mr. here. Mr. Puzzle, excuse me. <laughs> so it's this is not making the output. It's still not making the output. Uh, it's it's continuing it not batching, to make the batching. output. <laughs> you just speed this up, okay? Now something pretty different decent, is happening. Pretty decent JC idea, actually. <laughs> so now, unfortunately, still too slow. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's taking off these things two at a time. Or uh, yeah, the, it's these not a waste stick. One at it's a time. A, it's a it's a stack. It's a stick stack, but it's not like a <laughs> waste. Oh, it's becoming a stick. Okay. Yeah. I saw the initial curve. I was like, that's not a stick. So yeah, it beforehand it makes enough of these to make all six products, puts them in a big stick, uh, and then grabs them one that's by one, clever. and makes the output shape. It's like. Fuck this input in particular. <laughs> I'm making my own. <laughs> yeah, it's like Mister. I'm sorry. Maybe similar to the biggie bricking in uh, TI, almost where you're just sticking things on a big chain and then using that mm. as your actually this is a clever cost off. That was a that was an idea that was used for um, what was that? Bist, what was your weekly puzzle that's notorious? Um. Uh, our promotion. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. Yeah, yes. we we saw bad things. It's similar to our correct promotion. That's this is the way to do our correct promotion. This is also the way to do explosive improved explosive bio. Mm. <laughs> also, Mister Puzzle pointing out in chat that when we did lustrous syrup, his was the best placing solve that missed the trick. Mm. And you missed it again here. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how this one uh, blocks the input at the, the end, so it doesn't crash. Very cool. I want to see waste ball solves. <laughs> I want to see waste ball solves. 1262. <laughs> All right, this one's from Tweedledee. Uh, Whoa. Comment is, I'll eat one salmon row per each higher scoring solution that produces no waste. Catalyst doesn't count as waste. Well, we'll see how many oh. there are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that actually might be a few. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because of method, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is building it in... Uh, these pieces of two and then bonding a waste chain. Oh, salmon rope. Salmon rope is tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> you, you, I, don't, I think you just want to eat salmon rope. I've, I heard tissues for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I do like how this one is managing the waste chain being bonded uh, like that so that it can not have to re-grab. It just uh, bonds it on there and then, well, okay, it's doing something different on the last one, but <laughs> on all the other ones, it bonds it to the waste chain and then... Uh, Handles the waste chain, like here. See how it unbonds. Oh, yeah, I can. Grabbing it. Waste, waste ball, waste ball, waste ball. <laughs> it's not a stick. Yeah, it's, 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 that. it's slightly not a stick. Let's speed it up a bit and see what happens. I think it just stays it's like this. It's twelve sixty-two. Yeah. It's not. It's not quite a waste stick. It's a waste cane. Oh yeah. It. <laughs> it, it, it... Does it do <laughs> anything with it? Yeah, it waste balls it. Yeah, it gets reprocessed into it a ball periodically. It uses stick during processing the intermediary, but then it turns into a ball. Yeah, that's clever. It, yeah. In reducing waste, it makes sense that this is a thousand better than the previous. Mm -hmm. And it's done. That's like a white paddle. Right. <laughs> waste. Yeah. <laughs> Looks kind of like an ore. Okay, With next up, exceedingly long like paneling. Part. Next up, we have a huge drop in area. Six oh three. Oh, it's still six hundred. Okay. Yeah. Waste ball. Waste ball. Waste ball. Mm -hmm. Well, so this one's called three bar. You'll see why. Is it a three long stick? Let's see. Not three long. Three wide so stick. Interesting pause in the instructions there. I guess that makes it easier because to it edit it. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah. wait, no, it cycles. Never yeah, mind. It does matter. This somewhat. is an AI. <laughs> They're probably too lazy to just like merge all of them. Yeah, it does make it easier to edit instructions that way because you can have space to move them around without moving around yeah, the entire thing. It sounds like a great time to advertise Fi Edit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where you can just remove your wait instructions. <laughs> There's another trick you can do with that where if you just like keep inserting instructions at the beginning and then remove them, it'll like push it to the end. Uh, and remove all the yeah, that things. Too. And then yeah. remove all the extra instructions in the beginning. Oh, so that's what people do to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's but yeah, why it's... people have solves where that instruction just off the board. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's a trick I never think to use. Huh. Mm -hmm. Me neither. <laughs> but probably because I don't drag instructions onto the tray. <laughs> oh, yeah, just drag the first instruction to the right and I'll scoot the rest. Wait, is that like this? Oh, yeah. Oops. You like put it in the right place. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's made <laughs> difficult with this, but 
<laughs> Zoom mod just, does. Zoom mod tank. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, you can see why it's I called just, uh, three bar here because it's making this waste chain in uh, groups of three, which reduces the area quite a bit. Yeah, this is Zuma Jank. Uh -huh. I just uh, don't drag instructions often, probably because of Zuma, but also <laughs> I just don't. I like shortcut keys. <laughs> and yeah, that pivot output yeah, is also nice. Stick. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Um, now another huge drop. Two ninety one. Cuckoo fifty two. I want to waste fall. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't look like a waste fall. Yeah. That's a waste fall song right there. <laughs> of course, Cuckoo fifty two is the one to do a waste fall. That oh. sounds like something they would do. And you can kind of see the uh, oh, choppiness the here, maybe. It's this. I love the instruction. C shape. Oh yeah, and the C shape um, to allow you to walk over that. Input. I think we've seen that before, but hey, look, it's a looks like a lubricating solvent intermediate. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, as the product is being built, it always maintains this C shape on there so that it can keep doing that. That's nice. And then they did bond it at the end, I think. Yeah, because bonders, well, no, they're all full access. Yeah, everything's full. It's access, just like yeah. allows passing over single atoms. Mm -hmm. I do wonder if some of the top solves will have this C shape idea. Because when I was doing, when I was trying and failing to find like something ambitiously low area, mm -hmm. I was, um, I found the C shape to be like a pretty important, like useful tool here because you kind of almost build one anyway with mm -hmm. the shape yeah. of the region, um, the sort, the product. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I will not uh, reveal anything, but keep that thought in mind. C shapes. It's the good trick. <laughs> yeah. C shapes are good to like go around. But yeah, even with the uh, speed hack on, it's still taking a while because of the number of instructions in the Because result. of instructions <laughs> overload. I mean, it's like, it's only 4,600 yeah. instructions. That's not too much. Yeah, I'm not sure why this I one is only, uniquely slow. I feel like two errors was like more instructions. Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe this one because has more instructions was after fully the programmed uh, at five thousand cycles. After the thing too, I don't know. This one will take a long time to finish. I'm not sure if I want to uh, wait the whole time. It's a waste ball, though. Yeah, I guess we should. <laughs> but yeah, and this is by the way number twenty-seven. So uh, we still got a ways to go. Have <laughs> <laughs> a ways to go. I mean. Knowing my solve, it makes sense that there's a ways to go. Zoom in, rendering time will decrease and things will go faster. I'm not sure that's true. I don't think Opus Magnum does any kind of culling. Yeah, actually, I don't think zooming in or out affects the um. Yeah, it still has it still time. simulates everything off the screen. Like it even, I I'm think. I'm pretty sure it draws all the instructions too, uh, even the ones that are off screen, which is why it gets so slow when there's a lot of instructions. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe someone should uh, make a mod that fixes that. <laughs> Any Mr. mod makers Puzzle. are listening right now. <laughs> New Fugitsko <laughs> idea. <laughs> but yeah, here we can see the beautiful waste ball in its full glory. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Mr. Puzzle. Gotta gotta get more people. Uh, Luna set up about the it. whole thing as like y'all have fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I might get into it, but just setting up the whole development environment is uh, seems a bit daunting, yeah. especially since I'm mainly on a Mac, so I'm not even sure such a thing exists. I'm still, does it? Does, does modern app is yeah, modded, uh, how many do the mods all work I, on Mac now? Because I remember that used to be a problem. Yeah, yeah if you was... if you can get it set up, I they think do. Linux was the main problem. Linux and Mac are similar. Yeah, once I was working on Linux, Mac was relatively easy. There were a few uh, uh -huh. hiccups in getting it working, but um, it should be working now because it's all just uh, C sharp, so it's the same code running. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. All right. There we go. 
and we get our collision. Waste ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we have... 270. <laughs> I think... Is that another waste ball? Yeah, we're going to have a few waste ball solves here. Um... Oh, we're going to have a few of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you poor, poor souls. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd like if you want to have a uh, do a cost solve like this and you want to try to get the lowest area possible, then a waste ball is what you got to do. If there is waste, you must ball it, is the uh, <laughs> 17th ball rule it. of cost. I don't, I don't know. It's the rule of cost area. Ah, uh, yeah. Rule of CA. There's GA, sorry. Yeah, I hope I can get top 20. Keep the waste balls for coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a note on this one. I was very close to a few wasteless solutions, but they came up short. The sickle shaped initial waste chain worked well, and this is a decently compact way to add to it. Uh, OM clone saved my sanity since every cycle of this had to be coded by hand. Yeah, a lot of love for oh, OM yeah. clone uh, this week. <laughs> The sickle shape is basically our C shape. Mm hmm. Why wow, was this one way faster? <laughs> yeah, especially because for whatever reason it didn't lag as much. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling the other one had more instructions than it needed or something. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's kind of weird. I, I don't know why that one was. Weird. Like. I mean, I didn't look at the instructions, but there's got to be some explanation for this. Uh. All right, it's, next up, another triangle. Yeah. pretty big drop. Um, 171. Is that still a waste ball? Uh, yes, it is. Yep. You don't have the second input. <laughs> so note is, I spent a whole day optimizing area for a 50G solution before I thought of 40G. Is there a mod that can speed up the game or give you the ability to zoom? Uh, so yeah, uh, Cheat Engine has a speed hack thing you can turn on that speeds up the game. It's not exactly a mod. And then we have zoom mod. Um, yeah, and then there's also that's a, a, a zoom That's a proper mod. ball. And yeah, this is a... This is that's a, a proper ball. Ballin'. We're ballin'. Indeed. Yeah, that's an impressively low area count for a waste ball. That's, um... Yeah. We played the other two by about 100 <clears throat> hexes. Mm-hmm. And yeah, pretty low this cycles, too. Probably 16, as optimal waste balls get. It's like doing the thing that would like reduce the ball radius as much as possible. It's a 36, yeah. And yeah, um, as mentions in balls? chat, alt click is my friend. Get ready to drop 20 cycles. Oh. oh. <laughs> 20 cycle <laughs> bait here. That's rough. So I'm not Holy sure exactly shit. what the difference is here, whether there's a like a special case for the final. Maybe there were conditionals? Or, or, yeah, maybe there, maybe there were some empty uh, instructions that were accidentally left in. I'm not sure. Someone can go look at this. Or, like, but yeah, or maybe there were or maybe it was conditional. I guess this is the uh wasteful method, this particular waste ball. Yeah. See, that this is, is why I was excited for the cost metric. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are many methods. I just chose the easy one. But, uh, <laughs> it's fun to see other people do it. Yeah, and it's cool to see the same ideas like showing up in uh, different solves too. But yeah, and now um, next up with one sixty-three. It's still 163. in the triple digits. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, still in waste ball territory. Yeah, so this is a different waste still ball. ball. That looks I'm... like a waste ball <laughs> shadow. As usual with so this kind of things, a... I'm not exactly sure what makes this one better than the other one, but uh So it is just a freaky coincidence that like two waste ball souls both hit one seventy one and they were twenty cycles apart. Like <laughs> that is just a freaky coincidence. I mean I think there was probably I don't know, maybe the, the authors of those souls can discuss more about it, but uh Yeah, maybe there are mechanical reasons for it, but mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, so the note for this one is, I only had a laptop with me this week, so it was difficult to deal with thousands of instructions, but a good alchemist Yikes. never blames his tools. Therefore, I am not a good alchemist, by Modus Tolens. 
okay, <laughs> just, make, <laughs> just make better tools. That's the motto of the Opus community. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> like Vicky, who works on a laptop and uses a uh, auto hotkey to scroll. Oh yeah, dude, auto hotkey is so good. I love auto hotkey. The language is jank, but yeah. <laughs> they just released a new version though. That's a little less jank. Auto hotkey too. Yeah. So go check it out. Nice. Uh, Should yeah, we like update to auto hockey too? No, it's. I mean, it's not worth. Uh... <laughs> Probably no need. It works <laughs> as is. Yeah. Oh, he was at 171 as well. So this is probably some um, difficult to, or like some clever trick on top of the last one or something. Yeah, probably. Sure. So it is a 171 barrier. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it's three thousand cycles, so there must be something different. Uh huh. Apparently, the Cretelli is worth checking at the end. Hmm. Is this in Discord or something? Where is the Cretelli? Just like bottom the... left, but Bot apparently, oh, Cretelli makes sense after playing all of it and looking at the area. Is that area missed? Oh, oh, nice. I see. So it's doing a bunch of manipulations on this baseball oh, that the other ones weren't it. doing. So yeah, nice. it's like a little divot cut out of here in the area. Yeah, good Cretelli. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, number 22, Goodbye Galaxy. 110 area. Ooh. Can't spell cost Can't without spell C. Cost without C. 20,000. Uh, 20, and here 20, we see the cycles. appearance of the second input. So indeed. Uh, <laughs> uh, the comment is, away. <laughs> I predict the winning method will be bonding a huge mass of all the necessary atoms and slowly sculpting it into the correct shape. Tried to get that working, but Sounds it was too frustrating. Right. <laughs> so yeah, this that one is, about right. is making that C shape and... Uh, I guess using it to simplify the uh, suppression of the input here. We're starting with 110, though. Yeah, it's surprisingly close between the wasteful and wasteless solves. Yeah. I was definitely expecting more of a hard line, but... Like a sudden drop? Yeah, but there was a... I think there was a... I mean, 60 is a sudden drop in like every other metric, but, you know, it's been <laughs> dropping in the thousands. Right, yeah. <laughs> and it's it seemed like the, the waste ball type solves over the stick solves were a bigger drop to me. In, just in terms of the number. And, uh, it seems like uh, 22 salmon rows. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... Yeah, the, the... 23, we have hacked him. Mm -hmm. so I'll speed this up a bit. And yeah, it's still pretty high amounts of area just because there's a lot of manipulation here of the C-shape and moving stuff around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it manages to make these sort of other C shapes like this, and then mm -hmm. bonds them to the output. Uh, uh, yeah, you need a half axis something. Like this, yeah, and then it unbonds here and rotates onto the output. So yeah, and it also uses area all the way around the inputs. Oh yeah, that sucks. Mm -hmm. That was probably yeah. That's probably the biggest um. That's probably the biggest thing factor in contributing to the area. Yeah. Because uh, output large. Just mm -hmm. outputting is going to take up lots of swing space. Uh -huh. Output large. Right, so so what one... matters more is your angle of like how much of like how many degrees you use, I guess. Uh -huh. Yo, I'm top 20. Yeah, it's also interesting to see which glyphs are half axis here versus full axis. Everything so far has been half axis debonder, I think, and full axis bonder. Half axis debonder seems to be easier. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Because uh right because there's a single atom uh input right. that you need to attach at the very end. Usually this is the a... very end that's not required. I like this. this. I, I like this idea. This solve from Madmaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Very uh, clean surprisingly method. close to my building method. Just a uh, slightly less efficient. Yeah, so the note here is, if I was more creative, I could have found a better spot for the Cretelli. If I was more creative, I could have found a smaller assembly method. <laughs> well, you did get uh, wasteless, so be proud of that. 
Wasteless is good. Wasteless gets you almost top 20. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, though, top 20. That's <laughs> yeah. still a lot. Matter Look, Ma, no waste. That <laughs> almost looks the same. Yeah, this shape um, where you have a full axis bonder, half axis debonder, and then you make this like Y shape, and then debond uh -huh. um, one of the uh, water here gives you this two shape plus this. So it's like kind of a natural way of approaching yeah. it. And yeah, this one has very clean. 970 cycles. Yeah. Uh, the comment is, my first 40G made a waste chain and had about 2,500 area. Then I spent way too long making the waste into a triangle instead to get about 200 area. <laughs> now, finally, I have realized that no waste at all is plausible. This is the only layout slash build order I found that worked. Mode. <laughs> Sounds yeah. okay. It was easy. Don't bother. Yes. <laughs> So this um this full access bondus idea was actually the one I was toying around with unsuccessfully because it does seem like I reckon it has potential to be like a super there's a super clever things you can do with it that gets you a really so you low also don't have a full access bonder hmm. um I guess I'm yeah I don't have a full access bonder spoilers um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I wouldn't. I would not be surprised to see some of the top solves be full access bonders. But yeah, it's a uh, seems more efficient, but at the same time, a pointing away bonder is like been a, like kind of makes sense for attaching the last the outward sticking water. Mhm. Mm mm. All right, next up we have Please don't drop too low. <laughs> uh <laughs> For area. Yeah, so another um, similar thing, although it's making an extra bond here so that it ends up with two of these units um, instead of just debonding the water. I wonder if you sh should start pressing P. Oh, yeah. Since this we're getting pretty... a lower area range. Good idea. Yeah. This is a pretty neat that's, idea. I didn't... That's interesting. Where's the huh. Yeah, I absolutely inner... didn't consider this. I did not, yeah, I did not consider inner intermediary. Um, yeah, so note is regrettably 6T since I needed a helper for the last steps, but maybe I just missed how to do it. Hope this one is relatively uh -huh. good. Did not try to optimize the area beyond using not both inputs. So yeah, I feel like there are... 1700 <laughs> cycles makes sense. Uh -huh. There's definitely... Uh -huh. um, I feel like, and especially if I were solving this, I feel like if I had found the wasteless solve, I would be feeling pretty happy with myself. And uh, I'm yeah. pretty happy with myself. <laughs> <laughs> And it's definitely not like first place, I am assuming, but it's a pretty good solve. But yeah, I just like um, the fact that not optimizing once you find wasteless is probably a uh, like natural thing to do. Yeah, Especially since it can be hard to even, I think. It, it, it's, I feel like it's hard to even necessarily find optimizations because sometimes you need to like completely change your yeah you just find one layout and like the right. layout was already hard to find and now you have to and now you're telling me i have to look at other layouts right exactly <laughs> that might be better right. it's actually it's actually the reason i'm not i was never that happy with my cost solve because i felt like i lucked into a way that was like i, I like i found wasteless min cost without too much pain Mm -hmm. And it felt like a real opportunity to push further and find something really, really good and push to the yeah. top, like a top spot. But then I, I was never able to improve my initial solution that much, which... Like, let me we, see we, how long it took me to find it. I sent... Yeah. Let me, let me just check my DMs with panic. I sent a... Full access bonder again, here from New Jersey. I sent my... I sent my... One uh, like single product waste solve at eleven twenty eight a.m. and sent the non waste solve at twelve twenty one p.m. same day, so <laughs> like less than an hour, like less than an hour. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one is using the. To be fair, I was searching for it like before mm -hmm. that, but uh. Yeah. 
but yeah, Sorry, this, what were you saying, Penny? Yeah, yeah, this one's using like the C shape in the output to suppress instead of making like the oh. full C shape. Um, and yeah, it's using this. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's like it's not the full C shape idea, but it just means you don't have to debond anything afterwards. Mm -hmm. Which is actually super clever. And yeah, there seems to be a, like a two step process here, of, or three step even, of making this uh, smaller C shape. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, the first one it makes the three and then the one. Second one, it makes this stick again and then rearranges it a bit. Yeah, I like this build order mm -hmm. a lot as well. This looks pretty area efficient. It's got small, it's only working with small pieces. Mm -hmm. And it breaks yeah, the Yeah, Originally, it's using like all six sides to... though. I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see like a top solve use something similar to this. Yeah, just something similar, but not using all six sides would perform very well. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And oh. next up, casually getting suppression. <laughs> Eighty-one is big. Both back. inputs is possible after all. Uh -huh. Oh, this one has equilibrium. Nice. This looks similar. Oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, Biggie. Oh, this is Biggie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. And he was so confident about his cost solve. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think it's uh, one of those cases where finding um, Wasteless is definitely like an achievement, but with the amount but of effort that everyone is putting the, into these the tournaments, yeah. Yeah, the community cracked. The community is nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the note is, previous cost submission was over 1,000 area because I was certain you couldn't solve this in 40G if you placed the water atom input. Happy to be wrong. The entire process, including when I was one bond away, I thought was impossible. Then it worked, and I had to face the reality that it was possible. Yeah. So yeah, and facing the reality, <laughs> if you actually want to optimize for area, it's a. <laughs> but yeah, and I think depending on what uh, layout you find first is also maybe an element of luck. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel like I got lucky. Hmm. But yeah, this one is pretty similar to the last one um, in the sort of... Actually, it thinking. is. Yeah. Awesome. 42 Genius 42 is the better 42 now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So props to Genius 42 for finding a wasteless 40G. That is a hard thing to find. Yeah, mm -hmm. but apparently it's the same area. <laughs> Genius Boy 2 is they're getting. Talk, they're talking about it in chat. It's the same area. The, the, these two make a great team. The 40, Team 42. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, next up indeed is 42 Genius 42, the Illuminati method. How many cycles did you say? 200. A uh, much better method than my original attempt, now submitted there as showcase, is. as that took me two days. There it is. This method came to me in a dream. <laughs> this just this took just a few hours. Oh, the star shape. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I like this star shape thing he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a whole um, like. The whole thing yeah, is like is a star, the same and then layout it moves item. all of the waters around. So yeah, I just have a different processing order. So yeah, this combination of a indirect bonder and indirect debonder lets you sort of keep grabbing one thing and move it around, which we saw earlier on. I think it was Jgark. Uh, Jgark yeah, solved. Was it? Was it yeah, it was someone with a fifty cost solve that had the same bonder and debonder layout. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, DC secret sauce systems. Yeah. I had, I think I have 600 or so cycles. Let me check. But yeah, so this is, I guess, what I might call method for this puzzle because it does yeah. make Let's this easier. That. Yeah, and it was the Let's one that, in. this is the one that Haxton found in playtesting as well. So I was I a little worried that it, this would be maybe too easy to find. I'm not sure, but 
I, I the fact is that I couldn't find it, it when I was lot. testing it, so I that gave me confidence that yeah. it wouldn't be that easy. It wasn't that easy. <laughs> I mean, there might be 16 people that found it, but yeah, I have 628 cycles with the same layout. Hmm. Well, Which is why yeah. I want this to be GC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole gimmick of the puzzle was like, can you do it without waste? So it wouldn't really make sense. Yeah. Just press the button here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have a small drop in area. Uh, min, small I hope, wasteless. Down. And we're back to the. Oh, we're uh, back to this. Uh, we're direct. Back to yeah, this so. Now. John, John, you did good. It's fifteen, the fifteenth place. Top fifteen. Yeah. So top yeah, 15. we're in, in top twenty now, and then uh, top, 15 top fifteen is good with this group. Definitely. And yeah, this is a similar thing where it's using this C shape to suppress the input, and just keep making more of those C shapes and bond them together. Press P. Press P. Yeah, and the exact difference of. Like how one solution gets more or less area than the other is, as usual, pretty hard to fathom. <laughs> yeah, like in like how one solution differs from another and similar placements is hard to tell. But uh, in general, I think using less ang like less sides of the six sides is better. Yeah. And All right. Yeah, and yeah, this one. I'm gonna give you. Sorry, yeah, go, go I'm going to give you guys a heads up. My phone is on low battery, so I might drop right. out of the call involuntarily for a while. Okay. Do you not have a charger? I do, but it's not charging fast enough. Oh. Ah, uh, rip. Yeah, I, no, no worries. We'll you keep that in mind if laptop you... Laptop or computer? Go silent. I, yeah, I do, but I don't have a way to connect because my phone is my microphone, and I don't have a way to ah, like, use it like that at I the see. moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oof. How did you stream then? With my phone as my microphone. <laughs> wait, so you just connected it to Yeah. Interesting. Huh. So then you just captured... Wait, how did you capture that then? Because usually you, it doesn't capture that in Discord, right? Like it doesn't capture um, your own audio? I have, to, I have to download an app. Yeah, how did it, it go on OBS? <laughs> it went all right. Like, if you're recording on your phone, then... I guess no, I'm not recording just... on my phone. I'm recording on the computer. Oh, it's just like your phone is com connected to your computer and it's uh, acting as a microphone via some program. Yeah. But anyway, this okay, is a boring yeah. topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. So yeah, this solution is making these groups of two um, in sort of a uniform way. Like it makes this, debonds, makes this, bonds. Uh, actually, no, wait. It's making this group of four, but then the next ones are going to be groups of two. Here, yeah, see, and then it makes the group of two, bonds the group of two. And then it'll do the same thing again. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't have to um, re-grab, it can just spin and then spin back uh -huh. to get the group of two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, 77. Yeah, so Hello Jasper is saying area, exactly yeah. the same solve, uh, except for an area save. So yeah, it's this. Yeah, it looks similar two area so far. Save. I have hope for top 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does make an extra bond there. Small differences. Oh, it makes an extra bond? Yeah. Press P. <laughs> Thanks, Best. <laughs> have to be reminded. Whenever there's no equilibrium, I want to see how much of the. Publish this swing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, unless I, the equilibrium lies. Yeah, these C suppression style solves sort of intrinsically take a little bit of area across the input because you have to swing them across it and swing them back across mm -hmm. it again. But yeah, I guess this C, the difference is that you can't actually grab it on the other side. So you can suppress on yeah. this side and then it just stays on that side. But it does manage to avoid the water and do that. Yeah, I can speed this one up.
All right, so we have a two area drop. Gak. We've been getting two area drops, yeah. Bambi. Who's oh Bambi? Nice. Remember yeah. Bambi had an interesting method in the ooh triangle. Yeah, this is making a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> this is new. It's a slightly different triangle from me, but uh, that's weird. It, it's doing that first and then making a starship and not immediately doing the spokes. Yeah, I guess because I guess it's that, able that to make this debond with this smaller triangle shape, it like sets that up so that it's able to debond. Uh, yeah. With the indirect debond. Big swings though. Yeah, although it does keep this side clear. It does not use that side, so yeah. that's good. Which is, I guess, how it's able to save that area. Yeah, another triangular. I definitely noticed the word triangle appearing in different uh, solutions. Triangles are titles, popping up. So. <laughs> They're this, pretty this good. Maybe something that appears again. It definitely, I definitely have somewhat of a triangle. Not the same triangle, but. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Seventy five. Yeah. We have a secondary tie. So this one appears to be making a triangle as well. Andres K. Oh, triangle method. How does this do better than the previous one? Just slightly faster. Um, I think it's. Oh yeah, no, yeah, this one is a tertiary difference, so it's slightly faster. How does it go slightly faster? It's still like, oh yeah, it doesn't like have an intermediary intermediary water position. Hmm. It goes from the triangle position into the proper uh spot for it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have an intermediary. That's why it's faster. Okay. I see. But yeah, and it also has that pivot on the output. I'm not sure if that the last one had that, but. Uh, definitely, I think pivoting onto the output is the way to get the smallest area in the last swing. All right, next up we have a one area drop at 11th place. Keep them coming. Dia diode. Um, also, Zorflax, we're both top 10. <laughs> so If Zorflax is still here, <laughs> I think he might have died. Rip. <laughs> Um, Not but, in real life, but like his micro his phone might have died. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, so the notes are. Hopefully, Biggie can come fill in soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's gonna show up um, on comms or not. Um, he might just be in the stream chat. But so yeah, the note is: yeah. upon looking at minimum glyphs, I noticed immediately that it could be achieved trivially, though arduously, with the three length input and a full access bonder and debonder by attaching the entire solution to a stick. However, I didn't want to waste my time making a six-piece stick solution with awful area, so instead I spent a far larger amount of time looking for a setup that could fully utilize both inputs. Managed to shave five area off my initial solve, can no doubt be improved further. Um, did attempt a few other setups that seemed to be better, uh, but they introduced new quirks which lost area overall. Curious to see if people find algorithms that make them work. Yeah. Does this one do the triangle? This one does the triangle, yeah. Yeah, this is a triangle. Somehow it's saving some area. Uh, not sure. It would be somehow it's saving some area. <laughs> that's kind of the yeah. I feel thing. like uh, if somehow area is saved. <laughs> yeah, I feel like at it's... least it's better than TI. At least you can see it. Right, right. It would be nice. I, I don't know. Maybe I should uh, one of these weeks with an area secondary. I should put together a tool for like visualizing the difference in the footprints, so you can kind of. Kind of try to understand. I think that's better done as a post stream like graph. Well, but just like if I were to run it on solves before stream, I could have more things to say about why the area is smaller. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, makes sense. But yeah, no, the triangle is definitely a very cool technique. Uh, and I guess it kind of makes sense because if you think about the shape of the output, it's like has this triangle on it and you just have to move the sides yeah. and then attach these to it. So definitely a cool idea. Um, next up, another triangle solve. The product is a triangle, right? <laughs> Who's this? Uh, Fiesta. So Fiesta, nice. My stake in the ground solve for 40G no featured 10. a waste stick sweeping out over 1,000 area at 16T. I finished that in about 30 minutes, and I'm almost willing to call it trivial. Wasteless 40G, though, was a challenging exploration. What surprised me most in the end is how simple and elegant the triangle algorithm ended up being. 
I don't know how competitive 70A will be, but this approach does feel like the lubricating solvents method equivalent of 2023. And uh, yeah, this yeah. is top 10, so... Uh, Press P. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the shape reminds me of a brain. Yeah. Especially with this uh, brainstem going here. Am I still the fastest solution? I don't know. So Cy far. Cycles is the tertiary vis. I don't know if you know. It's, it's not it's not the secondary. That, but, uh, why is mine's <laughs> mine's is just like has a very fast building method while also being the smallest area I found. Mm-hmm. But yeah, now we have another two. The forty two genus forty two layout is a Oh, so this one's called Triangle the Power The tertiary is mad at <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, this one's significantly faster. Well, no, wait, this is 68. Yeah, nobody has 69 area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, it mattered just ever so slightly. Well, this one I'm is... definitely next. This one is... Uh, oh, 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 so you have 68 as well. I see what you're saying. I have 68 at 620-something <laughs> cycles. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the note for this one is shape some cycles to improve the chance in the non-existing GCA category. Hey, you have some competition. Uh, and if anyone's <laughs> got the same area. So, wow, good job, Witcher. You've participated in a competition that, uh, someone else was participating in. Um, as for the layout, by making both bonder and debonder half access, the unaccessible debonded part doesn't need a grab point as it is laid out on the bonder. This leads to a very I fast sequence, and if secondary was cycles, I felt this would be very close to the optimal. For area, this might not be very good. Uh, carefully designed intermediate and bonding sequence could lead to less area. Anyway, I spent too much time on the other metric, finding the min cycle solves. That is it. I won't go searching but for yeah, the But yeah, this cluster. is my triangle. This is the triangle I made. Mm -hmm. So this is basically my solve, but I have a different input position. I don't have double axis input. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's tempting, uh, since you have those two spaces, to fill both of them on the input, but... No, I filled it with a Critelli. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily the best for area, or cycles. Because, yeah, you have to do this extra manipulation to get it into position. But yes, very fast. You can tell because the solution actually completed before I went to the next one. <laughs> so yes, indeed, next up at number eight is... Uh... Oh, there goes our blacks. Oh. That's me. <laughs> Press P. <laughs> Got it. So yeah, another uh, triangle solve with the double half axis. Fuck. I love this solve. <laughs> Fist is very... Uh... Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it's... It is a good solve. And yeah, it says this looks like intended solve. Um, it's kind of true. I mean, Haxton basically got something similar, but better, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, I could see this same algorithm going down to 60, but I couldn't get Get it. Yeah, so yeah, Zorflex, this was my first solve exactly. It literally was this exact solve rotated by 180 degrees. Um, I saw it in the this solution one from the list. Previous one. He no, said that you, during the previous. Oh, uh, well, it was. I think it was yours. I think you and him solution. were tied uh, like a full tie, primary, secondary, tertiary. Uh, tied with Zorflex. Oh, it's play tested. Wait, 79? Did it not? It was it not in here? Uh, I don't think they submitted it. Oh, because yeah. it was for uh, so uh, oh yeah one thing I didn't mention is the puzzle used to have a bond here. Um, oh yeah, was that removed for cycles? Uh, yes, that was removed to make cycles. More I would I could have saved like I could have saved like eight area if not for the fact that that bond wasn't there because I made it. There was a method that used less area, but uh, by not pivoting to the right. By not pivoting the left, by not pivoting the whole thing to the left, I could reduce area, mm -hmm. but uh, that created a accidental extra bond. Right. Yeah, and I think that's uh, that would take more area to debond it. Yeah, and the accidental extra bond is, I think, what happened with Haxton solve, um, which made it a little. So basically, we had the more... same thing, same like problem. Yeah, although it, it might it might not have been the same uh, layout, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, dropping in two area to seventh place, we have. Also, oh, sorry about spoiling my spoiling my solve. I'll, yeah, I'll try to <laughs> reduce that. It, I guess, it can be hard if uh, contestants are also on comms because you get excited about your own yeah. solve. But uh, yeah, 
We're, we're past it Evanov. now. <laughs> 66. Uh, Evanov, yeah. So I don't feel really understanding the problem space. I tried swapping bonder and output and got stuck on unwanted water water bond. Uh, attempts to shave hexes northwest to Cretelli um, are also similarly blocked. Not confident about area, so didn't bother to reduce walking. And somehow walking the triangle the other way didn't work. So this one, yeah, it bonds oh. a bunch of stuff to the triangle on one side. Oh, wow. And then moves That's it around. Oh, has, yeah, it ends up with extra, one, it has an extra atom. One extra atom, yeah. But it uses conditional it logic. It's an intermediary. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, if. if oh, um, it uses conditional, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of curious exactly how that conditional works, actually. So. It's here, 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 here. And we move this one over and debond this one. And then we grab again. Interesting. Oh, I see. So it uses a. It uses the fact that it's yeah false grab. That's how it's doing it. So it, it since the arm is already grabbing, if you ask it to grab again, it won't. Ah, uh, it uses false grabs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's a clever way to make the um, instruction tape loop and not have to script it out to six products. Yeah, if you grab at the end of the solve, it like stays grabbed and it can't grab the new thing. Right. Exactly. All right. Next up, we got a two area drop. To Nova with EQ, EQ glyphs, so I don't have to press P. Uh, the title is Watcher's Lustrous Syrup VOD Once. <laughs> so, yeah, this uh, method is. What? No. Oh, wait. Is used that's in a, Lustrous Syrup. That's my. <laughs> what does it do better? Uh, different, different order. I see. Mm. Does it in a different order? Clever. And yeah, this, so I, actually when I first saw this kind of solve um, in playtesting, I was so happy because it just looks so cool. The way that yeah. it you just keep grabbing the same atom and just move everything around by unbonding and mm -hmm. bonding and unbonding and bonding. Uh, just very yeah. slick. So it's like, even if everyone finds this solve, then uh, it'll still be good because it'll be fun for people to find it. But. Nova and uh, not Nova. Uh, Nova continues to impress. Mm -hmm. So yeah, c congrats on number six, getting to the top five here. Spiritual shampoo with method again. Uh, Spiritual shampoo also continues to impress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this case, you don't have to build up the whole triangle either before you start. You can. Yeah, do it I tried to make a solve that was. Bonders closer to input. Mm -hmm. uh, so the note on this one is you use half access bonder because you can't get full access bonder to work. I use half access bonder because I am lazy and don't want to grab the other side. We are not the same. <laughs> nice. This is definitely method. Mm hmm. Yeah, pretty good Critelli. I think the idea of putting Critelli in the um, space that isn't taken up by anything else around the arm is a uh, pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it is used. It's just a uh, it's like ha! I don't have to use this access point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Next, we have a one area drop. Last minute saving six. One area drops. Finally found a one area save. So. Uh, assuming that their cycles was a similar value, this actually did improve their rank. Uh, finally found a one-area save with one hour, 35 minutes before the deadline. The save was to only add one water, water atom in its final position before the missing bond is broken, which saves the Critelli. Interesting. Oh, this does a star shape. Mm-hmm. 
So the Cretelli oh, is the Rebex, safe Oh, Rebex, Pentapig, and Zorflax. Yo. <laughs> Yeah. Better top three. All of you are extremely impressive. So yeah, and you'll notice this uh actually has is better than the um double half axis in this case. Oh wait, no, this is double okay, half axis. Should... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this is interesting. It's like double half it's axis, but not aligned with each other. But it's uh pointing in a different direction than the rest of the ones did. Right, right. Yeah, probably yeah, secret sauce is probably a better name for it, that's right. Uh, How many? I wonder if the winning salt uses secret sauce, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, congrats on number four, Caliuresis. Now at number three, our poor deceased friend Zorflax. Uh huh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, yes, how did you know I watched the last Triceratops stream? <laughs> I don't know, you might have hosted that. <laughs> so yeah, area is a tough secondary for this puzzle. I was happy to find this lustrous syrup in inspired idea. The problem is the trick was designed for a cycle secondary, not area. The solve tries its best to alleviate that problem with mis mixed success. I tried to push for a more ambitious route involving a full axis bonder, but that proved exceedingly difficult. I would have liked to get this down Double to the mid-50s. Mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully I can oh, yeah, still make a decent showing with this. I think if you're an absolute pentapig, you could probably beat this by about 10 hexes. 10? I guess the the output is just too large for like 10, but I don't know, maybe we will, we will see a 49 from pentapig. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one is a similar uh, secret sauce, but very careful about the Hexes it takes up during the swings. Very area conscious, yeah. Uh, and it, it does some interesting stuff with suppressing it's... this input to occupy that when area during the swings. When you have double access swings. to the input. Yeah, when you have double access to the input, it's not hard to suppress. Right. How dare you put Kertelli in the center? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, n minus points for that. Less area delivering three stick, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think this the really the thing that really makes this solution is the suppression and the position of this input. I would say. Mm, yeah, that's the that's the main saves. And it sends the water for, in from the other direction than what other solves do. Oh, interesting. So this is the faster of the two uh, fifty nine layouts that Sorflex found. Uh, nice. Well, yeah, there are tertiaries. Okay, so now we have a relatively big drop. To oh, shit. 52 area by Rebex. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Rebex. Let him cook. Yeah, I was hoping for a Rebex win. So let's let's <laughs> just sit back and watch this for a little bit. Let's just sit back so, and watch. This... Oh no, this. <laughs> <laughs> this has a uh, full axis bonder, half axis debonder. It starts the solution by doing a bunch of weird stuff and making this C shape and making this other shape yeah. that has no. <laughs> discernible purpose yet and then debonding and bonding things to it this this <laughs> looks like this looks like a lubricating solvents <laughs> but bigger yeah and then it it i this is one of these so yeah see so now that's like a fully formed uh part of the product now it has half of the product how, how did that happen <laughs> i don't know yeah it's using the c shape to suppress and making more weird shapes. Method can get you to third place, but the real tip top is uh, scary. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I think uh, this is this kind of solution is very much about like working backwards from the swings you need to do to uh, finish the solution and like finding the pieces yeah. and and bonds that you need to make to make that as uh, as small as possible. I wonder if we'd have more people doing this if Jin Yu and Rolami still participated. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, this, I think I, Jin Yu would definitely do this. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like this is like the the next level after. I, I didn't even expect to see solutions like this. I was blown away when I saw... saw um, uh, this solve and uh, uh, the upcoming solve as well. 
just like because like it's one thing to find this wasteless solve and it's another thing to be able to go through layouts and construction methods to find something like this which is like so i don't know just incomprehensible if if you're like i don't know it's incomprehensible to me at least so yeah very very good job uh congrats on number two And finally, we have Pentapig. We have Pentapig. At 50 area. 50. It does almost say 10 area. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How so much? Zorflex what was Zorflex's right. area again? Uh, 59. So it was very close. 50. It does almost say 10. <laughs> it, and indeed, an absolute God. Pentapig was able to solve, save almost 10. So the note is, the final yeah. manipulations from cycle 220 through 440 were developed entirely in reverse. Blocking the input from the other side using a C-shape is an idea developed by Jinyu for sailcloth threat. So, again, we have citations here. Uh, sailcloth thread. Everybody's like, lustrous syrup, lustrous syrup. Nobody went and looked at uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's like the, thread. <laughs> the deep cuts of cost tech. And yeah, it's a return of the C-shape. C-shape do be nice. Pentapig uh, still is the absolute best at GA. Uh, so saving two hexes to the top of the debonder um, because of a breakdown into 3 plus 3 versus 2 plus 4. Um, is that like referring to this, not this, but like when it's first top making the left thing? left of the debonder. Top left of the... So here, sure let's... It's not top right? Let's... let's yeah, like check the people. Oh, I see it, yeah. Yeah, so... I see the two areas saved. That, those two areas, mm -hmm. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. This looks like a proper GA. Yeah, these last two look like proper GA songs. But yeah, this is this the level of uh, work that was put into these solves is just blows me away every time. <laughs> and like the fact that yeah. there's, you know, you have uh, like solves with the you know pistons at sixty G or whatever, a track at fifty G, and then even getting to forty G is a pain um, because you can't use both inputs, uh, or you well, have yeah. to find the these wasteless solves, which are another level. And then there's levels on top of that where you do stuff like this to get the area down even further. So, uh, yeah, really Jeez, cool stuff. From Gilder. <laughs> yeah, it's Gilder, the in -game, in in game cost of things. Where does it even write Gilder? Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably somewhere in the lore, but like most of us don't read it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, congrats on uh, everyone for submitting these amazing cost solves. Congratulations, everyone. Cost cost is an exciting metric for this puzzle. There are so many different methods that you can use. Yeah. So now we will a lot look of variety at cycles. So let me uh, go past. Uh, there were fewer co uh, cycle solves than cost solves. Um, so I have yeah. to skip a bunch at the beginning here from people who only submitted cost. Uh, How much less? Okay, hey, here we go. Wait, okay, let me delete this. Hopefully this doesn't crash my game. Um, yeah, so starting at... I was paying 
Gyodor is mentioned in the post op text of uh, Warming Tonic, I think I saw on my notification. Mm. I see. And I was pinged. Alright, see ya, RPO. <clears throat> Warming Tonic, yeah. So yeah, with cycles, um, the there are uh, two parts to cycles: uh, latency and throughput. So throughput basically means if you're grabbing for a puzzle like this, at least if you're grabbing the uh, input every two cycles and s moving it off the input, uh, you're feeding the machine at maximum throughput. Then at that point, it's about optimizing the latency, which is how long from pulling the last set of inputs to swinging to the output uh, your machine takes. So yeah, so this one has uh, 201 cycles and you can see it's pulling the inputs I think it's every, what is this, 13 cycles? So... 13, uh, e yeah, it's kind of 13. Is it? Or no wait, I'm counting, I'm, uh, it's 11, 11, 11, 11, yeah that's right, that's right. So yeah, in this case, um, throughput is one per eleven. Um, so that's the main. So it's eleven, right? Right, right. It's, and it's there's also a bit of latency here as well. So if you look, this is going to be the last yeah. set. So it's grabs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, uh, and then it drops. So twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Irrational guy. They're saying irrational guy has this off at uh, three twelve cycles. Oh, oh. Maybe I skipped it because I thought. Oh, oh. I see. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Sorry, I misread it as being the same solve because it has a similar title. Um, yeah, this one's called modus ponens. The other uh, one's modus tollens. Uh, I see. Yeah. Sorry, irrational guy. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, so yeah, the note is I didn't have a lot of time this week, so if I focused on GAC, I wouldn't be able to focus on CGA. I focused on GAC, therefore I didn't focus on CGA by modus ponens. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one Cycles is more... uh, has uh -huh. a much... So th how much is this? This is 8, 16, 18? So 1 per 18 is the throughput. Um, but the latency does seem smaller. So let's see, yeah. Grab one, two, three, and then on the third one, one, two, three, and then output. So this is latency of three, which is quite good. Um, Interestingly, it's one third P. Yeah, which is kind of natural for it's cycle solves because you have enough stuff to build one third of the input every set of inputs, or uh, one third of the output every set of inputs. So one third P solves are going to be not too uncommon in cycles, I would say. But yeah, any any logicians? They're saying this has nearly min latency. Yeah, almost min. This is almost yeah. min. Uh, yeah, so this is the one we saw earlier. Uh, next up is Christotep at 180 cycles. Uh, Pistons. 180 cycles, I think arm uh, number four can still be optimized. Yeah, ARM4 is the thing that's limiting the solve's throughput right now. So this is 1P, so every tape loop it makes one product. And... Yeah, it definitely has a lot of latency because of all these handoffs here to get the product in the right shape. Um, and then it also hands it off um, to ARM5 to put in the output. So I guess in terms of latency, the thing to get it down would be to reduce the amount of time the material is being handed off from ARM to ARM. And to get the throughput down, um, as you wrote in your note, ARM number four uh, is definitely li limiting. So like splitting up what ARM4 is doing into multiple different... Oh yeah, ARM4 is doing a lot. Yeah, multiple different separate ARMs would allow you to, the other arms to be doing stuff at the same time and improve throughput. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, it's all, the, the main challenge in cycles was definitely dealing with the weird geometry, um, 
which, you know, it's definitely some difficult geometry may or may not be up your alley. Sticks are hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of stuff coming in. Like every input set has four atoms in it, uh, which is a lot to deal with at once. If you're trying to go at max throughput, mm -hmm. you have to be constantly oh, yeah. moving that around and keeping it out of the way for the stuff that's about to come in two cycles. Uh, uh -huh. Next. <clears throat> so yeah, here we have redstone paradox with nice area. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Um, <laughs> is min plus one cycle if you have the final bond on the hexagon? Yes, although it's if collisions are disabled, no. So it's kind of sad, but um, yeah, there's like a swing that could do it, but it collides, so it can't right. happen. And that so y'all removed the last bond. Yeah, I did not. I did not want everyone to be sad, so I removed that last pawn, so you could get um, in cycles and be happy. When I saw it, I figured, yeah, this is definitely done for cycles. <laughs> and it also gave... Because it doesn't matter for cost. Right, yeah, it's mostly. Kind, of, kind of irrelevant for cost. Although it does, I think, add a little bit of extra spice to cost, in that it, it, it's like a new yeah. symmetry that you have yeah. to think about. But, um, but yeah, it was mostly for cycles. And it gives you a few different ways of making it, too, in min cycles, which we'll probably see here. Um, oh yeah, Reb says it, it did matter for cost. Yeah, yeah, everyone's saying it matters for cost, it matters for cost. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying it from, from my perspective as a, like a... Area part of the cost. As a, like, designing it in terms of min, like min primary, uh, that's I mean, the sense in which it doesn't matter. It mattered less so for the primary of cost is what I should say. Yeah, yeah, it like it, it definitely matters when you're optimizing. Uh, compared to cycles when it would definitely affect the primary very much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this solve it has a relatively high throughput. It seems to be every six, um, but pretty high amount of latency with how many handoffs there are. Yeah. And yeah, there's like an extra cycle where it has to move the output. I think if there's a swing here instead of a translate, then it could have one cycle less. I wonder if the swing is possible because of our... Well, I guess you can swing it in a different direction. I was wondering if it were in the place that it is, would it crash into arm 3? Mm. Oops. Probably should have been tinkering. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it might crash with arm 3. So let's see, yeah, it grabs, moves, and then let's try it. See what happens. Oh, it doesn't. And then just have to put the thing in the right place. Yeah. So yeah, that that would be a way to save a latency. One cycle save doesn't yeah. matter though. And you can also save a little bit of cost, but you know, <clears throat> just some tips for cycles optimization. Uh, next up, we have. Few cycles dropped um, to Zandorf. Cycles slow. Zandorf. How many so, cycles is it? 107. 107. Yeah, the extra latency would I have mattered. Yeah, and this one it has the same throughput every six. So the difference between this one and the previous one is really just the latency. So you can see mm -hmm. uh, one, two, two latency. There you go. So yeah, this here you can see uh, this is a min latency solve. Oh hey Biggie. Oh hey Biggie, is Biggie here? Yo Biggie is here. Biggie, Biggie in the chat. Um, yeah. So this is actually, despite this being thirty eighth place, this is a, a demonstration of how to get min latency. So you can see here, uh, there's this three here, and then um, you can bond. This here, like you can make both of the bonds that you need, as well as the bond to the last one with this one tribonder here. Um, so this is one path to min latency. There are others, but uh, that's not what I did. It's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely it definitely feels like a better method. It's there are there are benefits. We'll see. We'll we'll see. Uh, yeah. All right, next up is... Oh, Zorfax will be back soon. Jason. Oh, cool. 
Oh wow, this one's big. Zoom mod time. This one seems to be making two separate products. And there's a hex arm. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Hold on. What? It filled this... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so... Huh. Yeah, there's a double it's... pipeline here. There's waste. Arm 9 is removing waste. Or like, these atoms are not used for anything. So one pipeline is building with these pairs here until the waste fills up. So I guess the idea here huh. is there's this rightmost pi pipeline, which can do its thing and make the product uh, without waste. But then, why not, you know, take some from the other side and uh, make some products on the side without if, uh, impacting this pipeline. So it's uh, definitely not a bad idea for cycles to do that because it lets you increase your throughput and get more products out in the same number of cycles. And I guess, how many is it making here? I guess it's making uh, one product on this side because that's how much it takes to fill up this six arm. So it speeds it up slightly by one product. What a cool idea. Yes. Uh, comment is, I'm sure I can Wasteful improve cost. Wasteful cycle solves. Yeah, th oh, that would not be nice. Hello? Hello. There we go. Welcome back. Hello. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah. I missed my podium finish, but yes. I'm here. <laughs> Do you have any, <laughs> yeah, uh, any, any, any comments to interject while, while we're matching um, I'm just... Um, I'm I'm amused by the fact that I've gotten yet another podium finish without winning. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and also okay. all my, and also once again all my fretting and self-deprecation was um completely unfounded. Um, <laughs> God it damn seems it. Like all of your serious submissions are podium finishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, anyway, back to cycles. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, back to cycles. So yeah, I guess uh, next up, down to 71 cycles. 71. So this is another pipeline. two pipeline solve. This is a little bit symmetric. So symmetric solves are kind of nice for cycles because you can run each half at half throughput. And especially for solves like this, where there's a lot of input coming in all the time, that can make things a lot more reasonable to get things in the right place fast enough. So uh, wow. again, I will admit that my test solve was one of these uh, these type, <laughs> and I didn't bother getting uh, min latency. <laughs> Did hacks then get min latency min rate? Uh, so the the change to remove that final bond was made at the very last minute, basically. So. Uh, uh. No, but I, I think well, they I, I think they did it the did with the earlier version. Well Haxton did submit, yeah. Oh, for cycles? I mean, I maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I saw it in your list of submitters. Saw him in your list of submitters. I wonder if it's the old version or the new one. Oh yeah, I think it's yeah, the title is Hastily Converted Converted Playtest Solve, so we'll we'll get to that one. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, um this type of solve with mirrored uh, mechanisms is a way to simplify things. Although this one still isn't running at max throughput because it's not pulling every two. Yeah, um, it's slightly slower. Than yeah, it's two. like every three, I think. Every, yeah, it's every three. Or no, it's every... It's a little complicated because there's another... It's almost, it's almost every three. Yeah, it's like seven. The I last think. one is slightly slower. <laughs> I think it's like two sevenths or something. Because there's this extra stuff at the end, yeah. But yeah, very cool solve, and uh, it's interesting piston track thing to distribute waters on the bottom. It's not completely symmetric. Mm -hmm. There's also the fact that because of the extra gap, it's a uh, the last one has to pivot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it harder to make the symmetric solves. That's true. Uh, next up is top of mouse. Top of mouse. A Dapio plus. This one is symmetric, but also rotated. Um, yeah. It has longer latency, but faster rate. Is this? It's every five. Not exact. Rate five, yeah. Or, I mean, two fifths because there's two pipelines uh, with every five. Yeah. 
But yeah, the uh, hex arm on a track like this is characteristic of a uh, five loop. And yeah, this is very nice looking. It's actually completely symmetric, I think. And it's uh, scripted out for one product, although I don't see what the difference is. Yeah, it. I don't. I don't see why this couldn't just be one. I guess it, maybe it's easier to understand that way. This solve converges at the modimer level. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't need any extra work because it. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. See, it's building from both sides at once. The same product. Yeah, just building a hair product shape and then combining that. So yeah, every loop it needs to sort of trade off um, which half is doing it. That's that's really cool. Yeah, it has to it assemble in two to... different ways. Why does it need to bond one place and debond the other at the end? Uh, because if it's coming in from one side, it, it's 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 because of arms twelve oh. and eleven, the swing that they do. Yeah, one of them swings it that sure way, the consistent. other one swings the other way. Okay, yeah, so, it has to make sure it's consistent before it outputs. That makes sense. Uh -huh. All right. Next up, we have guilty bystander. Now here is a full rate solve. Yeah, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one is is definitely using the mirrored um, technique to run both sides at half of full uh, throughput. That reminds me of Invisible Ink, that are those arms on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the that classic Invisible Ink solve that makes the ink actually Where invisible because you can't, you can't, you can't see through the arms. Forest of arms. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah, I guess this one also has this fix-up bonder debonder here to make sure that the pattern is correct for the output. Yeah, this has so much latency though. Yeah, so <clears throat> if you know what uh, min cycles is, you can calculate what that latency is. I guess maybe even if you don't, but it's I guess a little easier. Quite a bit. <laughs> it's quite a bit of latency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up is Tulare with a fifty cycle solve. Is this optimal rate? Looks like optimal. Yeah, rate. I think so. Oh no, there's oh, a wow, there's a looks... uh, one cycle of latency. I think I saw. Ah. Uh, or two. Yeah, there's two cycles of latency in the loop. Yeah, so like what Biggie said is true. You can like easily get better than the previous one with worse rate because of how much latency it has. Right. And yeah, another two pipeline solve. Though it <clears throat> seems like both pipelines were designed separately and uh, so they're not symmetric. And then combined, mm -hmm. like smash together to reduce as much area as possible. Right. And then this one, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a decent amount of latency because of this uh, th three arm has to re grab while it's pulling the next input. So there's like, it has to, let's see. I'm also not sure which pipeline is the earlier one versus the later one. So yeah, it pulls this one first um, and then finishes this one. So this is the pipeline that's going to set the latency for this solve. And mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So yeah, it's like nine latency, I think. <clears throat> oh, has been saying she's not 33rd place anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there were fewer submitters for her cycles, so. Nice. Sorry, Cat Spin, you were too good this time around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's another uh, full throughput solve from Dia Diode. Uh, cycles wasn't very motivating to me nice. this week, but I'm happy enough having a min rate solve. One eighth plus one twenty fourth is suboptimal for cycles, since on a six cycle time frame, the one twenty fourth pipeline steals two extra inputs, which could be used to complete the six product four cycles earlier. Um, however, I found it to be the least awkward method of achieving min. 
the 124 oh. pipeline has over a full cycle latency to output, but thankfully it has no effect on the cycle count. My rough calculations oh, say that, that water is. Uh, my rough calculations say that 41 should be minimum cycles, making me off by seven. This is definitely harder than the week one cycles puzzle, so I'm curious if there will be another 24 person primary tie. We'll see. That water is so far away. Wait, where is it? Oh, yeah. The elemental water, it's on the left. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there is some extra latency with the water uh, that you have, because the water, uh, you only have to bond it. Like, you, there's just one bond involved, uh, so that's like latency uh -huh. of one, where the yeah. uh, um, other input has a latency of two, as we saw earlier. So. Um. But yeah, another two pipeline solve. Very cool. Next up, we have Jamu. Yay, two cycles less. And yeah, this is another mirrored full throughput solve. Nice. Very clean. And yeah, it seems to be pretty much actually mirrored, except with a little bit of uh, fix up yeah, here. Except for the last pivot. But if the pivot is the first thing you draw, the pivot one, if the pivot one is first, then it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, but it's not. There's this, yeah, there's this yeah. interesting thing where uh, I feel like people tend to make double pipeline solves and they make the first pipeline fast and then they make the second pipeline and it's slightly slower. But yeah, if you switch the order of the pipelines, then the latency of the slower pipeline, if it's going first, doesn't actually matter as long as the faster pipeline finishes after it. Uh, so yeah. if, as long as it's less than two difference. Which that might... has saved my ass multiple times, that idea. Uh -huh. Though in this case, it might be uh, enough that, that it would actually have to delay the second pipeline because of how much time it spends over the product. Because it would stop the other one from being able to get into the product. By arms rotating back to the start. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, why are these by arms? That's funny. I guess they just, I mean, they, they do look cool, there's that. But yeah, these could be replaced with uh, normal arms to save some, some gold. Mm -hmm. To save some cost. Yeah, Gilder, Gilder, sorry. Gilder. <coughs> some I mean, G. It's just cost on the bottom, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> Would it matter? Uh, no. It wouldn't. Next up is 42 Genius 42. Attack Hawk Cycles. It may not Found be a winner. 45. Yeah, 45. Uh, but I'm proud of how it looks. Improved gold, fewer bonders. And yeah, there's a slightly different bonding sequence happening on both sides. This one has two bonders, and this one has a tri-bonder. Also, very good Critelli. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one doesn't need a pivot, just because the bonding sequence is different. Mm-hmm. That might be the Critelli of the tournament so far. <laughs> yeah, it's very, uh, very nicely placed. There's a, there's a, there's a super nice Critelli. <laughs> All right, so now we got a uh, two cycle drop. How do I merge pipelines? Down to forty three. Uh, spent most of my time this week on cost, time. but hey, at least this is max throughput. I lose one cycle to geometry. There's a gap between the first bondy bond and the bonding of the output, and three to having to transport Oof. the molecule to the output. Right, so yeah, one, one I'm plus three is four. how many two pipeline solves we'll get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, did not have time to look at, look through all the cycle solves before, so uh, I do not know. Uh, Although I did, I have looked at some of them, uh, but not all of them. <laughs> everyone's like, never, everyone's in the chat is like, oh, I've never considered multiple <laughs> pipelines in the same. same. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like to get, <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, if you're... <laughs> If your goal is min cycles, multiple pipelines are quite difficult to get to work because uh, you you have to get them to line up very uh, closely. Like the slower pipeline and can't can be that have much a slower. Slow side and then like a slow side that goes around and then a min latency that just goes bam on the very last product. Yeah, that's true. And in the in the in the five minutes that I attempted to cycle solve this puzzle, I like I already by then had dismissed two pipelines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, next up we have Andridge K. Uh, same cycles, but cheaper. 
43. And this one is two pipelines, but it's not symmetric. And let's see, oh. which one goes first? Yeah, okay, so the slower one is going first here. That's good. Um, but yeah. it also finishes after the faster one. Oof. But it's still fine. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, let's... How fast is the fastest pipeline? Oh no, there's a cycle that it takes to rearrange like that. Wow. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. so it, it would be min latency except for this geometry issue where it's... If it were swinging directly there, it would collide, so it has to swing and then move. So it misses... And also more. the other one is slower. Yeah, of course the other one's slower, but the... Even this one uh, but is that side minute. is almost mid latency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's definitely a powerful idea, the one with of two pipelines. If um, you're trying to get a low cycle count, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people. I wonder this. how many people will be min plus one as well. Yeah, so here's one oh, from yeah. <laughs> forty three <laughs> cycles. <laughs> 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 uh, Two pipelines, lots of tracks, uh, arms on tracks here. Oh, this one needed the extra depot there. <laughs> right. Oh, it's fully programmed as well. I, I do like the non-collision um, as it goes to output, as they two like kind of swing together. Uh -huh. Yeah, is it possible to like gear these two outputs? I'm not sure. So yeah, this one, both outputs the are... Um, min, but you can't swing them both to the output at the same time. So there's no way this could be made uh -huh. into a, a min latency solve. Uh, uh -huh. And yeah, and then there's some latency with re-grabbing them and moving to the output. I think that's the biggest issue with these two pipeline solves is just like making the geometry work so you can get everything to the output if they're symmetric pipelines. Yeah. And if they're an asymmetric pipeline with an odd one out, it kind of doesn't make sense because it doesn't really help you that much to have that odd one out. Um, doesn't really like make it any easier to do the main pipeline. So, uh, Cuckoo fifty two cycles. So uh, I believe the single note pipeline. is a shrugging emoji. Yeah. So this one's single pipeline full throughput at forty three. So yeah, we have one, two, three, one, two, one, oh, Cuckoo two, 52, three, oh. four, five, six. Yeah, six cycles, that adds up. So yeah, th this one has a wonder... latency of six. Because of I this sliding and regrabbing. I wonder how difficult this is compared to rest removal, because uh, I assume that this was sort of the same difficulty as that one, and we'd get a similar pileup in primary. Mm -hmm. It might be, because rust removal was week one, and week one usually gets like higher than usual amounts of effort. So that might have played that's into true. that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, this one seems like it's uh, the input. I mean, I guess it's not. I'm not sure how you would make this into a min latency. It seems like the main goal here is pulling the input as fast as you can and then getting it into the shape of the output, um, however you. Yeah can figure it out. This one is a lot more geometrically constrained than rust removal. And uh, geometrically constraining it means find cert layout searching, which I guess a lot of people don't like. So this one's actually pretty fast for a two pipeline solve at 41. So we have top pipeline goes first and has to pivot twice before moving to the output, whereas the second one can just pivot directly onto it. <laughs> no 42 cycle solves. Sorry, Biggie. <laughs> yeah, we Sorry, skipped the 42. <laughs> <laughs> Rich. Um, but yeah, and then let's see, we have one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, alchemical dual cycles is very interesting. Uh -huh. Wait, is there part of it coming from the top and the bottom? 
Interesting. Yeah, so these two pipelines are like not separate. Yeah, I think because there's three each, so it alternates sides. Yeah. I feel like there's, there's two different bonding stations. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. sometimes two come from the bottom, sometimes two come from the top. Right. An interesting yeah, idea. you wouldn't call it a true two pipeline thing. I mean, it is two pipelines, it just converges earlier. Right. It's two pipelines into the pipelines are building these like C-shaped things and not the final products. And then the C-shaped things mm. are assembled in a single station that is after where the pipelines are joining, I would say. Uh, I remember also, I found like, yeah, 41 cycles, scary. Mm. I remember when we did Arkwright promotion rate, I was the, the the whole concept of a pipeline got so convoluted that there were some solves where I legit couldn't tell how <laughs> many pipelines there were. Mm. Arkwright promotion is also just pain <laughs> when it comes to uh right i think it was a uh, seven over 22 or something right yeah <laughs> Similar. oh no that's pi <laughs> or 22 over seven is pi wait it was inverse of pi I think yeah 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 pi. that was that was the right yeah i think it was pi i don't think it's pi right pi so yeah next up we have new new char at uh plus one what a mess so yeah this is plus one latency uh, at full throughput. So how does this lose a cycle? Let's see. Oh, uh, loses the cycle Re right grab. after the day bond. So we have one, two, oh, this rearrangement here. So it, yeah. it hits it off, then it has to rearrange, then it can slide, and then it moves to the output. So the lost cycle is this rearrangement here so that it can slide. Because yeah, sliding is much easier than swinging in terms of avoiding collisions. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's what makes the geometry so constrained is the fact that min cycles I think has to swing it. Uh -huh. If I'm not that mistaken. That track loop though, amazing. Oh yeah, that's yeah <laughs> top track loop so far for sure. <laughs> it's very rare that you see the track loop inside of track loop. It Get looks your... like those kind of like sports. Team, uh, team sports shirts numbers. Yeah, but like, it's an illegible number. <laughs> Maybe it's something in some language. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost a nine. Yeah, and like almost a two, also kind of. It's all good. Or it's like a, a five. Two almost. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's like it almost looks like something. Uh, all right. So cheaper at forty cycles. <clears throat> we have Tweedledee. Um, I'm climbing oh, yeah. a mountain uh, with a hammer plus one range. and no ropes. Yeah, yeah. These are the min, min plus ones. So yeah, this is a two pipelines. Two pipelines, pipelines plus one. Yeah. Huh. That's cheaper than the single pipeline one. So this one, one, two. Ah, uh, yeah. So it has to do this extra slide. So it bonds here at min latency, so this is, now it should swing onto the output, but it has to slide, slide out. So that's uh -huh. probably the slower one. And then that, this, that, that, yeah, this is the first, slower pipeline, yeah, yeah. So then this Doesn't. one, okay, yeah, so here, this takes two cycles to bond, um, instead uh, of one, so yeah. it has to make this bonded, then these bonds, and then slide the out. Yeah, so this lower pipeline is plus one, and the top one is plus two. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and I guess uh, as we get down through the um, 40 cycle solves, we can pay attention to cost. So yeah, using lots of track loops and pistons um, is makes things easier, but also adds to the cost. So it's yeah, usually the previous helpful. one had way too much track though. Right, right, yeah. Efficient. Usually for the absolute main, you want to find ways to lay things out so that you can just use arms without track. And also, yeah. um, multi arms are often useful as well, because you can do like a grab, swing, swing, drop, and then do that on a four cycle loop. Mm -hmm. And in this case, there's a six cycle loop often, so there's other things about like if you so have yeah, an arm can, on a track, you can even grab, swing, swing, return. Right, right, right. So I think arms and on tracks, yeah, arms on tracks are very powerful because you can, yeah, you, single arms you can grab, swing, swing, and then return, or you can put an arm on a track and do grab. Uh, move swing or grab swing move and return. Grab move swing grab yeah. yeah you get yeah. two actions and then return. So yeah, the, the unless your actions backtrack. Right. The geometry is tricky, but the um 
fact that things are on a six cycle means that you have a little bit more flexibility. Yeah. Which is good for cost shaves. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one's down to 425 cost. Is it still 41? Not 41, 40. It's still 40. Yeah, it's still 40 and still two pipelines. So two. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So this one has to slide. This one hits it in. Oh. Uh, and this one takes an extra cycle to make the bonds and get this into uh, the right position. So it looks like both yeah. pipelines are plus one from min. I think. So, it seems like one's faster. Oh, there's a handoff on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this one's plus from, from min and then this one is, uh, there's a handoff. Oh, ta oh, the slide is avoided on six output. I see, I see, I see. Both are plus one, but there's some yeah, delay. Yeah, basically only in the middle. only the sixth output matters. Uh huh. But the cadence is a little bit off because of pre last uh, output stuff. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we got a five G drop. Uh, wow. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Cavalier and min plus one. Not... Uh, I spent too long on G and a single pipeline solution. Now I can't fix the latency problems. Geometry is hard. Geometry is hard. Geometry is hard. <laughs> Especially when you're dealing with two pipelines, that just doubles the geometry you have to do. <laughs> right. But yeah, and this one has um, like these triangle track loops are kind of nice and they're saving cost as well. Yeah, both input min G is easier than min C. Yeah, yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Probably just not, not a lot of people spent as much effort in cycles because of the amount of time they spent in cost. Yeah, I feel like there might be a psychological That's component too, where it's like you start working on 40G um, and you are faced with the prospect of dealing with all this waste and you're like, oh, like, maybe I should try and find a way to do the waste. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas with cycles, it's like, well, you know, min cycles is probably going to be even harder than what I'm doing now. So uh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, uh, more kind of says min C, but not min G. Yeah, yeah. That is, uh, I guess it just depends. Um, depends on what you're good at. Mm -hmm. Or what you happen to, like how you happen to break it down, whether it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I do agree with you, Panic. I do think it's a psychological thing with cost, because, yeah. like, if you miss min cost, you're never, you're not going to be happy if you miss min cost. Mm -hmm. Like, no one's happy to miss min cost, but. If it's a cycles puzzle and you're struggling with it, you can, you know, you can settle for min plus one and you don't feel too yeah. terrible. Whereas yeah. You don't settle for min plus ten on cost, right? <laughs> yeah, the fact it's multiplied. Also, there's like just like way less people submitting for cycles as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, so this one is a um, like hundred and five, I think. So yeah, lots of so single many arms here. Other solution, just min plus one. <laughs> But yeah, this, this is the exact same solution name as the previous solve, and it's not <laughs> new solution something. <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah, this one says, it seems very hard, at least for me, to shave off the final latency. I still expect around 20 people getting min cycles, since this community is too good. Well, you're at uh, 20th Are place, pipeline so ones? it's less than that. I'm not sure. But yeah, this one has this very nice uh, secondary, as Biggie says. A lot of not a lot of track, a lot of just single arms, mm -hmm. and it also kind of makes the way of building it look pretty easy, where you're just building this C thing and then swinging it back over and over. Yeah, looks like RG. Yeah, yeah. Sort of does, yeah. Hmm. It's uh, probably not RG, but uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you, if you you don't care about latency at all, you could do some other stuff. Because uh, Grimmy showed us uh, almost f cycles, uh, 355. Yeah, that was like uh, 
cycles at product one with cost secondary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. Um, all right. Next up is the hastily converted playtest solve. So one bonder removed no, around I mean, yeah, this does better. <laughs> Critelli to accommodate the uh, added missing bond. So yeah, the uh, older version of this had another bonder here next to the Critelli. Um, uh, but this one is the same as that, just without the bonder. This one just so removed that. Makes this product. Oh yeah, um, while my mic was dead, the topic came up and yeah, that missing bond made cost area secondary harder. Mm -hmm. I can like yeah. confirm, I would have yeah, saved- because it's so easy to accidentally make that bond. Yeah, I, I would have saved four hexes uh, without question if uh -huh. that missing bond wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. And also so difficult. Four hexes wouldn't have mattered though. Yeah, and I, I, <laughs> <Funnily enough. laughs> I mean, I feel like in the end it, it made the area secondary better. And I, I think I made a comment in Discord at some point about like, uh, one thing about having two metrics per week is that like adjusting the puzzle for one metric hard. can yeah. impact the other one and actually make it more interesting. Like in this case, if That's I were just, sort of. if, yeah, I was talking about that. Like in this case, if I were just doing cost, I, I might've just done the ring. Um, but yeah. since I was also doing cycles, I, I broke that bond and then it, I think it made, uh, the cost area more interesting. It was more interesting, honestly. Yeah. Cause yeah, when I was I first planning it, I was, I was imagining well. maybe just doing one metric per week and then like maybe a second metric that was like less important or something, or like, That's I don't know. I had, how I, I went about it. I had some like ideas. Second metric is less important. <laughs> but in the end, Although, I think the effort of actually making two metrics that work for it is a uh, Helpful. Yeah, that's it's honestly pretty difficult, and it's a sign of good puzzle design, honestly. Mm. Also, with uh, this particular solve, I do love how love how the atoms that swing around that one arm in the middle uh -huh. for the final monomer. Oh yeah, that's a very around arm seven uh -huh. here. You can see. Yeah, arm seven. <laughs> and they all bond here. It's like looks impossible. Yeah. That's cool. Oh yeah, this is a single pipeline, uh, min plus one. We have our single pipeline, min plus one. Okay, so John John predicted uh, about 20 people getting min, and uh, I think he was right. <laughs> about 19 yeah, yeah. is uh, Winter Ray. I thought the min cycle was easy, as the theory is easy, until I find how hard it is to make it work. Uh, I don't know how to do multiple pipelines, so I spent six hours trying all the layouts and tweaking sequences and finally find a working single pipeline solve. Nice work. Uh, that's definitely a painful yeah, experience, but I'm glad points. that I learned a lot about cycle solves. Wouldn't do such a stupid thing if it's not a tournament. I tried to cut an arm from the track loop, um, as there's only 15 instructions, only finding that arm couldn't reset in time. Even now, I hate it even more. <laughs> well, <laughs> congratulations on getting uh, min cycles and in the top 20. Also, we're only starting at 520G. That's uh, lower than I was expecting, having not done the puzzle Probably myself. Probably because right. all of them are single pipelines. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this one is using the same uh, min latency path we saw in that earlier solve, um, which uses this uh, multibonder to bond uh -huh. this uh, single, what is it called, earth to the water and the pair here, yeah. all in one cycle. And yeah, getting the geometry of this to work out right. Um, Seeing how this, like the sequence this goes, I can see how mine could be beat. Mm. I'll talk about it more when myself actually comes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the way that this one uh, swings onto the Cotelli and then moves a little bit. Uh, looks pretty cool. And yeah, the way that it works out, there is actually enough like you can make more than one bond in this final cycle. You don't have to make everything beforehand and then just make this final bond. You can, uh, there's space to put other bonders in here so you can do other stuff if you want, which I'm sure we'll um, see. The amount of bonds made on the last swing here where all six bonders on the two multi-bonders get used is visually satisfying. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not often you use the entire multi bonder. Yeah, LSP. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, like, yeah, LSP. Yeah, Jeremy just said that in chat. But yeah, so a 10, 10G save to username void solve. 
Um, Kenji. I guess we're getting like Palips early. And yeah, we got the same uh, LSP pattern, except there's one bond that has already been made here, so it's not making all four. Mm -hmm. Or all six, I mean. Also, I saw the last solve. Um, it was called out by Madmaster. They only had one debonder, and here we're seeing use of multiple debonders. Mm -hmm. Which helps with geometry, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another, another interesting, uh, interesting thing I think we can put, like, we can note is that how the input is debonded for the last one. Is it Earth Earth debond or is it Earth Water debond? Right, yeah. So the earth water debond is required for this multi bonder thing. Um, but you can also yeah. debond the earth earth. And you can also just de it depends on if you want to debond the earth or debond the water. Right. And, and there's also. Both work. Yeah. And I've if never actually. Can... Sorry. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah. So if you debond um, the earth pair, you can also put a bonder here to make a bond at the same cycle as it's being debonded, um, which enables that to work. Uh, yeah, I never considered debonding the water to keep the earth pair, but having that rationale <laughs> that you put a earth like on a bonder on that same cycle um, makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I'm wondering how just yeah, because that seems like it'll be a pretty powerful idea actually. Mm -hmm. This is earth earth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's earth earth here and then earth honestly, water here. Honestly, uh, debonding water is a pain with geometry. Yeah. All right, we got another 10G save, Dankest, by Goodbye Galaxy. Very sad. 10G wasted to get that one arm out of the way. Can't find geometry that works without it. Two pipelines. That yeah, hey. Two pipeline men. Well, wait, can we pack through the last two like cycles or so? Yeah, so we wow. got this one. <laughs> this is the first pipeline, which I think has slightly more latency. So this one, yeah, this is doing that thing where it bonds here and debonds here, and then it bonds here. What? Wow, that is an amazing swing. So yeah, this is the uh, other recipe for how to debond this, and it means you don't have to use a multi bonder, so it can be uh, cheaper. And this is also cool because it's using the same machinery for all three, uh, which I guess is yeah, enabled by bonders. using two pipelines. Because a lot of times these solves, you have three different stations because you do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, but this one is able to do it yeah. using one station. Um, <laughs> oh, congratulating Biggie on doing up better in cycles and costs. Oh yeah! Welcome back to being a cycles main. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not granting the cycles main title until I see him not do well on area compared to cycles. I, he's still an area main, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, he's been complaining about week four. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess this pipeline is plus one. So we have one. So yeah, so I. One, I guess the neat two, thing about doing two, two. pipelines yeah, yeah. is um, you can you spend a lot more cycles just like rotating the already built parts to set it up for mm -hmm. the final monomer, and you can just like be more chill about it, have a re-grab here and a pivot there. Yeah. As opposed to having it done need to be needing to be done in two cycles flat. Right. I mean, in this case, it's That's probably yeah. It's it's still restricted because you have to do it in three cycles, or else you're gonna. Uh, conflict with the other one. Yeah, but I do think that extra one cycle is what gets you a re-grab, which is valuable. Yeah, well, and yeah, in this case, you have that this broken piece here. You get a bond twice instead of just once, um, and sort of rearrange that little bit into position. Um, and right. It's bonding it. It's actually yeah. If you see what it's doing, it's basically moving this bond from here to here because up here it was bonded um, on that side. Uh, see, yeah, see how it's bonded here, and then see where that bond would be uh Ooh, now yeah, it's here it's interesting. so it's like fixing it up in mm. sort of a clever way it's got time to fix it mm -hmm. very cool all right next up we got not great 
How much? At four seventy five. Four seventy five. Twenty five gold drop. That's quite a bit compared to what we're like getting. What yeah. We're getting. So yeah, this one has the sort of three station thing going on, and we're back to the multi bonder in the last cycle. Uh -huh. uh, though a single bonder on the other side. Only a single multi on the last cycle, though. Yeah, yeah, because this one is has enough stuff. It has these two C shapes already made, so it only has to bond them together. Yeah. And yeah, oh yeah, same bottom left where it's debonding these the Earth pair only in one of the three stations, and then using that to make the C like that with two bonders. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some nice sliding past arm two here. This water. Oh yeah, it's pretty clutch. Oh yeah, the first water singleton. So yeah, th this watch this. So arm ten grabs it, moves it over here. Arm eleven grabs it, moves it over here. So it's moving like all the way here through the solution. <laughs> yeah, that first water has a lot of allowable latency, so you can really go wild with the pathing on it. Um. All right, next up, a 5G save. Hydro pogging out of my chair. Threw alchemicals <laughs> at the wall until something stuck. A lot of cost goes into making the second monomer work, and three tribonders is really sad. But I'm just happy I got Yo, win cycles pen. in a turn tourney puzzle for once, yeah. Can we pan it over to the center of it? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All But yeah, this is also the positioning of the water here is interesting. It's like on the other side of this arm, but it works out because oh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> you get to have two latency on it for the last cycle. Single water gets a lot of latency. Mm -hmm. I know there's a common motif with so far with these min cycle solves um, is the arm one t and arm two thing. Because they're both like kind of adjacent to each other. Oh, yeah. Getting that deep on, getting that rotate. And they're both like, yeah, just kind of moving back and forth on their track. Mm -hmm. That's come up like a, a good few times already. Yeah. Yeah. Like grabbing, double grabbing the input is pretty powerful if you're going to debond them and move them both. Yeah, I mean, you kind of yeah, have to. Like, yeah. So, but like the only thing that would work is a translation move. Right. Yeah, exactly. Because you're forced to translate it. Yeah. In, in that way, that's probably why it's getting compared to rust removal cycles. Because that was another key thing in rust removal. Mm -hmm. It's also the first cycles puzzle in both tournaments, yeah. But yeah, and the fact that you can be on a six cycle for the whole molecule means that you can do this thing, as we mentioned before, where you grab, translate, rotate, and then reset oh. all in one um, yeah. period of the solution. But yeah, and Morikon is pointing out that the five track loop is also a um, pretty common element, it seems, to get the geometry right with this doubles translate. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we're down to 455, called Loopless by Nova. Oh, another drop by 15. So yeah, this is one, two, yeah, using the multi-bonder pattern, similar to before. All right. So this is a different arm one, I... arm two idea. This is cool. Yeah. I recognize that arm four. Arm two is delivering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, water distribution here is pretty similar to uh, Vist Solve. <laughs> Not to talk about Vist Solve too much. <laughs> <laughs> It's water on the side and like bonding in almost last mo last moment for that particular one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting the first water out and around uh, so that it can be swung over here with this arm nested here. Mm -hmm. The other cycles puzzle this kind of reminded me of um, looking at it uh, was dehydrated water from the weeklies because it was another Ooh. that that. Was, because the, the kind of the main idea of that puzzle was have everything snap together in one giant bonding cycle at the very end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what that means is that, like, for the for example, the first water here, you've got a buttload of latency, so it usually goes on a journey, and that 
something that was also the case in dehydrated water. Mm-hmm. It ended up, yeah, it, it's a pretty intensive thing to have to do. But yeah, it, it, it's also like, yeah, that that's another design challenge that pops up here. Right. And yeah, again, we can see one of the three turning into uh, two earth and water instead of uh, water earth and another earth. Mm, oh, yeah. Because it lets it make this a C shape more easily. Be common. All right, so this one is a tertiary save from Evanov. Yo. Ouch. Definitely looks. It does a tertiary <laughs> save with a giant tri arm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it does look more area, like it has a more of a footprint, but yeah, that tri is taking up a significant percentage of it. And yeah, this one is uh, unbonding in the same place for all three. And a similar long path for the first water here with this tri -arm. Oh, wow, it's using the same tri -arm it uses to... Oh, no, wait, that's... No, never mind. It's an illusion. I was thinking <laughs> thinking that eight was moving this, but it just looks like it is because it ends up in the same place, but it's not actually grabbed onto it. Mm -hmm. Very uh I guess that's some style points right there. Fake multi purpose arm. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah. So the uh, text for this is: spent too long hand waving the swing of middle third and working on the remote water without that constraint made me overestimate how hard min C is to the point when Morikanda said, "Lex C for this puzzle seems to be the same as C." On Thursday, I assumed they didn't know that min C is possible. Crosswise, the tribonder for middle third looks suspect, but arms ten and twelve feeding it are doing good work. Uh, I didn't imagine I can reuse the bonder. Remote water routing takes a lot of mechanisms, but direct access is blocked by output cliff. And what can you do about that? Yep. If you're doing single pipeline min cycles, it's very much likely that you're also doing min lexi. Yeah. Double pipelines means that the first one will be dropped a bit slower, so it's not min lexi, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think part of what makes this puzzle uh, doable is the fact that the water has so much flexibility. Yeah. All right, so 10 cost? To more cotton. Ten cost. Uh, first design made by slapping down arms 7 and 8 in the multi bonder for the n equals 3 stick input. Working backwards from the final input, 3 every 6 pipelines. Uh, for 1 third of the up, it seems like the obvious way to go here. Yeah, I think uh, most people agree. Uh, top 1 third Twelve pipeline arms. is kind of bad. Uh, needing more arms and track than should be necessary. 6p saves 15g. With 1p, the tri arm grabs the output. Um, and it needs to be a track loop, hence the weight at the end. The rest of the solve feels pretty decent. Working on a clean every six loop, guessing min G for 39C will be about 100 G cheaper than this at around 350 G. 100. Uh, pretty much there for taking yes, on the top about right. one third pipeline and also maybe saving a couple more arms bonders. I reuse zero bonders in the solve. So yeah, prediction 345 G. Now what was, uh, I don't know. There was a, a cost solve that we saw that was anyway. 355. It was 355. <laughs> Someone remembers. Uh, here's a 5G save for Madmaster. CA vaguely snail shaped. Vaguely, everything's vaguely snail shaped <laughs> when it comes to. That's a very high head for a snail. Yeah, it's vaguely. Here we have yeah, the equilibrium on the bottom is the uh, the snail like body. And the output is the head, the rest of it is the shell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one has a fun uh, thing going on where it's passing in a, uh, one of the waters past the input twice. You can see it hand off at the bottom here. And uh, yeah, it's doing the same thing where it's making the two earth intermediate for one and then the other one for the other one with the tribonder. Seems to be the most common way of approaching also, it, at least at this range of cost. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, what were you saying? Oh no, I was saying that we now know who top 10 is. <laughs> and yeah, another one of these uh, five tracks, although it's doing something different this time. Very curious. Right, yeah, so now uh, first of top 10. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, do you want to... It's just better. Oh. At 75 area, wow. 
Oh, was, was it a... <laughs> right, yeah, so this, this is, is a tertiary Bambi. movement. Diggy says he's coming up, yet still we have so much people in between. But yeah, here we see a uh, CG solve with a piston. Very interesting. Beats your CA solve. Interesting. Dang. Oh, it's got a piston. Yeah. What's the piston? Oh, the piston grabs. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's very compact. Delivers wow. the last monomer here. Yeah, interesting water placement once again. This one has one, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, six equivalent bonders. That's not a lot. Yeah. Just going on glyphs, this is like extremely cheap. It yeah, loses on the amount of has track a, and piston. In. Has a bunch of arms. It has 11, 12 arms, 13 arms, plus one of them's a piston, which is equivalent to 14 arms. Yeah, it actually manages to use this multi bonder twice here and then again at the end. It almost looks like a CA solve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It for is sure. a CA solve. It beats big is CA solve. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Next up is indeed Biggie Mac at a 5G Ooh. drop. 5G drop. Ninth place. Yeah, so this one this one is using the bond here and debond the water. Mm -hmm. um, but also with a uh, multi bonder here. So that it can make this that's C, sh of... C shape and then also bond to the rest at the same time. Yeah, that's a lot of bonders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this arm 10 is uh, doing a bunch of stuff move, pivot. Yeah, so this is like, it, it's able to fit in a pivot as well because of the six loop. Grimmy's initial solve beats Biggie's fine. <laughs> to be fair, this is also Biggie's initial solve. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell by the title quick min so I can stare at it. So you can stare at it and reduce cost. Yeah. No, 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 he just stared at it. He just liked looking at it so much, he didn't bother improving it. Psycho solves are nice to look at, they're just so cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and it's also There's got so this going on. five track here, which yeah. is, is suspiciously common, as uh, Morikanda was pointing out. Even though huh. it does different things. I, I guess in this one it's doing something similar to the last one, where it does this motion and then a swing. Yeah. Uh, next up we have Fiesta. 410, that's a 25 gold drop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. One busy debonder. So this is pushing things through here every two, which is can be very difficult. And it's debonding water. It's yeah, it's only debonding water for everything. Right, so yeah, you can see that bonder happening on the same cycle coming into play. How many mm -hmm. equivalent bonders is this? One, two, three, four. Seven. Yeah, but there's no multi bonders. That's, and look at how no, many. Yeah, there's no multi bonders. Just how many, seven bonders. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, look at how many bonds. Like, this is cycle before. Bam. <laughs> so many things are getting bonded right at that last cycle. And all with single bonders. Um, with this sort of shape. And one debonder. I guess we should also count that because they're the same cost. Mm -hmm. uh, my initial single strategy. Single debonder is. Yeah, single debonder is amazing. Yeah. I'm yeah, kind of surprised to see that. My initial strategy was to use one of each input to construct a third of the product and repeat three times for each output, but I struggled for a long time to find a geometry that allowed the inputs to coordinate well and ultimately failed. The key idea that helped me unlock 39 was realizing that the inputs actually did not have to coordinate. I placed a debonder one move from the three stick, I could treat the water end of it just like a single atom input with one extra latency. That massively relaxed the requirements for how the true single atom input could be placed, it meant that all of the water molecules could stay toward the outside of the workspace. Uh, side note, I kind of wanted to leave this one at 420G, oh well, business before ah, pleasure. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't have mattered. You could have done it you 420, 420G. You should have. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to know. But yeah, cool stuff. And this also has the um, X arm that does a swing and a pivot and a oh, yeah. reset like that. Arm 7 and 8 share a track while not being like actual doing track lift stuff. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. So that yeah, saves 5G. Yeah, 2, 3, and 4 are actually doing track loop shenanigans. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and they're doing different things. Yeah. On the same loop. Actually, wait, they're not all doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, no, they're Two, doing different four. things. Yeah, yeah, Two they're... is doing different. Yeah. Yeah, because no, they're... it's... They're all doing... Are they alternating doing... They're alternating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I think. Wait. That's why it's not just a six loop, it's a 18 loop. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It has to do it three times. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing uh, the same thing, but just alternated. So now we have at 400, 400. Mr. Puzzle. Mr. Puzzle. Nice. Body system. I wonder what's the... Probably arm... Oh, yeah. Arm 1, 2, and arm 5, 6. And arm 3, 4, for that matter. Uh-huh. Well... We have a contender for Pivot of the Wake, I think, on the top right. <laughs> top right. Oh, this sequence here? Yeah. Where it's like Pivot, Pivot. Oh, nice. It's a... Yeah, it's a pass... It's Pivot... Yeah, it's a Pivot... It's a pivot like yeah, it's a, pi it's a Pivot pass. Two Pivots in a row from different arms on mm -hmm. a single molecule. I, mean, I guess it, the molecule wasn't fully formed on the first Pivot, but yeah. Pivot pass. Good pivot. Good pivot. <laughs> and also the way that the next input comes in at the same swing as the output. It's interesting. Yeah, I like that visually. Gives it a nice left to right motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and, and having this first station all the way over here to the left, um, I'm sure helps with the geometry problems. Uh, yeah. It's able to just swing in How here. How many... Equivalent bonder debonders is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. Yeah. That's pretty high. It just has a really low... It, like 11 arms is an impressively low arm count. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not even that much track. Wait, is there a 12? Or is that... The resolution is too low for me to tell. Oh, that's, that's uh, another It only okay. goes up to 11, yeah, yeah. Okay. Water handling is cool in the bottom right. Oh yeah, where it's uh, it puts it over the output and then swings it and then swings it back. That is cool. Yeah, I guess it has to. Sw Does it have to? Sw oh yeah, it has to swing before this thing goes across. So yeah. Pentapic yeah. was at four hundred five G this morning. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Next up is Rebix. Three ninety Rebix. Buy arm instead of try arm for better gift bounds. <laughs> Wow, a lot of trackless arms here. So who do we have left in top five? There's Grimmy, there's Spiritual Shampoo, there's Pentapig, there's me, there's... Who's the last one? Uh... Caliuresis. Mm. <laughs> yes. Spiritual Shampoo is up next. Yeah, so for this one we see the uh, pair of Earths being used for the first two, and then... The other debond pattern being used for the last one. And the LSP shape once again. Ooh, the LSP bonder. Yeah. Also, knowing that this is beaten by tertiary, unfortunate arm 8, I think. Hmm. Oh, because it has to be a multi arm? Yeah. Because it has a pause. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, this one is indeed beat in tertiary. Track loops are cringe. So true. <laughs> Track loops are cringe. I agree. <laughs> yeah, this one has uh, two multi bonders, but not arranged in the LSP pattern, and two D bonders. Nine equivalent, uh, ten equivalent bonder debonders. The way it makes this C shape over here is kind of stylish. It like pivots it onto this debonder, then this one grabs the other end while this moves over here, and then they both swing over here. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. The final swing's pretty nice here, actually. Mm -hmm. Also, at this point, I think you can probably zoom in. Oh, yeah. Is this... Let me zoom in all the way. Good. 
No, we need more zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're keep in top five keep, now. What? Keep, keep tap through the last swing real quick, sorry. Yeah, that one? Yeah. So we have debond and then swing. Oh, that's a lot of bonds happening all at once. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot of collisions barely not happening <laughs> at once. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially like this, whatever's going on with arm seven and uh, one, I guess. Pentapig is a repeat winner. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so congratulations on uh, number five spiritual shampoo. Next up, we have Calyuresis at 385, sub 400. Calyuresis at 385. Best, you made the podium. I made the podium. I broke through in fourth. I broke... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were all hyped about your cost solve, but the. Uh... Because the Cycle cost solve looks also... cooler. <laughs> 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 but yeah, this one's got the uh, lightning bolt track, always cool. 12 equivalent bonders, okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. 12, and yeah. 10 arms. I forgot how much mine has. Putting a multi arm. Probably also a lot. This one's trying to stake a claim for pivot of the week here. There's a few pivots here. I'm still going to give it to Mr. Puzzle though, but. Oh, I recognize arm 10 doing that, just out of the way so it doesn't get hit. Hmm. Yeah, because there's another swing that has to happen. There's a swing that comes in, so you have to avoid like... Right. This one does it because it doesn't want to suppress the input, and it, yeah, and avoids a swing. Calyuresis mentioning in chat that with five minutes to go, they were um, in six Two place. placements, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. But yeah, very cool. This one is also doing the thing where it has a uh, two earth here, and then the other ones are normal and the multi ponder. So yeah, it really seems like this kind of recipe has been the most common, where one of the inputs turns into two earth and gets turned into a C. This one it waits until the very end to make that C, but um, and then the other two are the uh, water earth. It all comes together with the multi. -ponder. Arm 7 has to spend 10G to dodge. Yeah, that's true. Which is sad, because all it's doing is pivoting. <laughs> it doesn't swing <laughs> at all, so it could be any of the locations around it, but they're all taken up by other stuff, so it's unfortunate. Gee, it is a cool pivot. It's it's close to the pivot of the week is so this... far. Sorry, I'm tinkering. Is this... Uh... Yeah, well, okay, never mind. I'll stop tinkering. I was wondering if that uh, this swing would collide with that. Uh, R7 has to spend 10 gold to dodge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm second. At least second. <laughs> so, yeah, number three is uh, Pentapig. So many multi arms. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is also this is also impressive. Yeah. So, How this many, is, uh, is this? seven Bonder equivalents, uh, 10 arms. With three multi arms, I guess is the yeah. Not a lot of track. Definitely Lots not. Sounds uh, very good. Yeah, I think in terms of glyphs, this is like extremely good. Um, but as the Arms solution title says, the multi arms it are. Saves area. Yeah, arm ten and sixes. Yeah, shame about the, um, the, <laughs> the giant multi arms. Yeah, that's the giant arms. Yeah. I don't know. Vicky is pointing now? out that this uh, arm seven is actually replacing that five track, and it's much cheaper than the five track, but it's doing the same sort of geometry thing where it's able to yeah uh, move this yeah. into position to make that um, this shape here. Uh, yeah, that the, makes sense. Check out the intrepid water journey the at the far left. Yeah, yeah, arm six <laughs> yeah. and ten, that's what I've been talking about. Uh -huh, and it goes past <laughs> arm four, that's funny. And yeah, it's able to use no track for any of these arm feeders except uh, nine, which is also doing output. And yeah, arm two, arm one and two are this pattern that uh, someone pointed out, maybe it was Zorflex. Hmm. 
It is between Bist and Grimmy. Yeah, so number two. I don't have high hopes because it's Grimmy, <laughs> but, uh, and also, so yeah, that's mine. That's uh, mine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, creating a new puzzle and testing the final swings was very helpful. Oh, wow, that's a lot of bonders. Yeah, so this uses a, I know. Uh, that's... a completely different <laughs> strategy, which is to build the whole center ring. Finally you enough. can see the center ring here. And then bond <laughs> all of the waters at once on the final bond. There's oh, no... <laughs> that's clever. That's the only way I thought of. I got lucky. So I didn't <laughs> even actually... How many bonders is this? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of didn't bonder, even think about bonder. this. I was I was thinking like... Or wait, no, no. Yeah, you can bond like this. Never mind, never mind. So yeah, this is do doing the thing where you bond here. But the idea of like bonding all of the waters at once on the final cycle is like... So crazy. Um, there's and another thing. Yeah. <laughs> there's another thing I noticed about this. So I'm sorry about this, Vist, but uh, if you change the the location of this a little bit, um, you can. Because save gold, can I? Yeah, you can get rid of one of the tracks. So like the way it is right now, this is delayed by one. Oh, that's ten gold. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you <laughs> if you put it here, let me see if I can. Uh, Make this work. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh. Oh, you only take five so. gold. Okay. <laughs> okay, but how does Arm 10 get it there? Um, Arm, no 10 is, Arm 10's on a track. Oh. Mm. <laughs> or it's, it has to swing the other way. Arm 10 is the rear. <laughs> okay, but... So... <laughs> ah, 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I was looking at the uh, solutions as they came in, oh, and I was like... No. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just looked at chat. Okay, but uh, what does Grimmy have? <laughs> does Grimmy still have the 355? <laughs> no, no, that's what they're saying in chat. So they yeah, have... 370. They have... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bist. <laughs> Alright. So close. Mm -hmm. well, at least, we know, what, really... at least yeah. we know what the CG record is. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this one is using the same um, technique oh. where it unbonds one of the waters and uses. How many equivalent bonder de bonders is this? Uh, 1, 2, 3, one, four, two, three five, four, six, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also 11. Oh, I'm bad at counting. <laughs> I think I think it's ten. Yeah, yeah, it's ten, ten. Yeah, it's ten, it's ten. I'm bad at counting. Mm -hmm. How many arms is this? Oh, uh, ten arms. Eleven arms. Eleven arms, same as me. Yeah. Also, but like one less track. Mm-hmm. I assume. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of saving that. I was thinking of saving that uh track as well. I'm like, that was. The ten gold is probably where I could save. Other yeah, than, I was. Like, I was hoping somebody using less. I was hoping you would see it. I was I, like, please. You were hoping I would find it. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know. I like looking at it. It's like there's an extra latency here, so there is some flexibility and like just tinkering with it. A no, bit. but like I struggled so much to not make the output crash into the arms. That's my problem. Yeah, yeah. So like I'm like arm ten has to have one of these will uh -huh. have to have a track. Uh huh. So I'm like, amused I'm by. Like, sorry. Um, with this solve, I'm amused by the surgery that has to happen on the top left. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. I think oh. this is. Yeah, this is like <laughs> nice. pretty common. Like this is the kind of thing that it's the like five fast, five loop. Yeah, and it's it's doing it very efficiently with the grabbing here and then using that arm. Yeah, th this thing it's doing here where it's like bonding this shape means that it can do this swing and then bond here, which is a very efficient way to accomplish that without using any track whatsoever. Um, I mean, except arm 8, but that's the track is just getting this here. Apparently I'm a cycles main now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weren't you always a cycles main? <laughs> and I guess quintessential stabilizer wasn't so good, but uh, I got fourth place in week three, like 2021. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't. I never consider cycles my strong suit. <laughs> Hey, that's how I feel about cost, and yet here I am with yet another cost podium finish. <laughs> my third one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, congrats to, um, I guess, Grimmy, uh, Bist, and Penapig for top three. This feels so unfortunate, but I'm not <laughs> yeah. going to complain about a second place song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I debated showing it off on stream at all, but I was like, I, I, can't, I have to. I can't, show, I can't just, stop myself. I'd rather <laughs> see like the uh -huh. mobile optimum. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's I, I don't know. I guess we can go back and. Uh... Oops. <sighs> <laughs> like the. Uh... And you can tell from the it can tell from my solution name that I wasn't confident in this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I got them in cycles. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> this top 10 one or two so yeah i talked about how i could probably say if gold, somebody can beat me in gold and that would be one bonder count mm -hmm. because a bun that is so many bonders right yeah <laughs> just the way it's being extra done. track you, that that extra track of arm eight or mm -hmm. arm ten, because arm ten is only on a track to avoid being avoid like being hit. Right, right, right. By that final swing. So like that, either like ten gold from there or like ten gold from one less blunder, I guess. Right, right. And I guess the thing is like the fact that this has such uh, like allowable latency means that the amount of layouts you have is bigger. You have these two swing. Uh, Things yeah, like you can move from here to here. More. I never yeah. moved the input. That's my problem. I mm -hmm. thought that that was the best input position. Uh -huh. All right. So that was cycles. And let's see if we can uh -huh. get through showcase. All right. <clears throat> so first up, we got an overlap rate solve from Caliuresis. Or... Zoom out a bit here. Watch this setup. Watch the setup, but uh, I see. And here we go. And yeah, this is a cool way to approach it. It sort of uses a wand to move it along and reshape it. Nice F shape track. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and this is in fact not the only uh, OR solve we have, so. Oh. You may see some other. At least one other one as well. Um, yeah, here's. Up next is Bambi with Aura! 137. <laughs> or for that right area. Yeah. This is a different approach. Surprisingly, that... not cost, with how much people love cost. <laughs> You can see the overlap bonder wanding thing happening with the water here, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have much setup. Yeah. It just it's works. Only this, I think this is the wand that drives it, and then there's some setup here for this wand, but then in the middle, since yeah. the uh, rate is not actually that low, or the throughput isn't that high, it can handle it with I... re-grabs. <laughs> throughput is I... just one input grab every cycle, yeah? Yeah. I, I appreciate the Steven Pistons. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, yeah, I think it's, it has the to be that way because it has to retract. So it's not just no, a, the arm on the right though. The piston on the right. Yeah, it's not just see, it's not just pivoting. It has to retract. Oh, it had to retract because that's part the of the beginning. setup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this is overlap area, so. Right. It, that's right. I'll pretend I didn't say the retract. <laughs> It retracts because of setup reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, cat tracks, cat tracks, cat tracks. Cat tracks, cat tracks, cat tracks. Is it cat train? Uh, this is Bambi. Early version it's of my CGA okay. solution. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it says the best shaped track loop was too delightful not to share. So there you go. That is an amazing track loop shape. <laughs> it is. Even though it doesn't actually use most of it. <laughs> oh wait, the the right one though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the right one. It's a cat head shape and just made the rest of the cat. Right, yeah, to complete the picture. 
It's very nice. It's also smoking. Uh, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> <What's that laughs> very, very bad cat. Unhealthy cat. Bad kitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, next up is a three eye salt. Get the spray bottle. <laughs> Spiritual shampoo. Finally, we see nice. the calcifier and duplicator. Ooh, three eye. Three eye. I mean, we saw the we saw the duplicator uh, as a as a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was technically the first uh, appearance of it. Very interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, because of the. Fact that there's a just that shape that you can grab onto and mm -hmm. output. I, yeah, this is possible in three I. Very nice. Is oh will OR be in the leaderboards once we like set things up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it made it. Cause OR is uh pretty interesting, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, OR was very interesting. I'm glad it made the leaderboard. Like, Biggie made a whole post about it on Biggie Vlog. Mm -hmm. With invisible ink. It definitely deserves a place there. Yeah. Yeah, the other metric I'm looking forward to that's being added is trackless cost. Hmm. It'll be interesting hmm. to see uh, where that goes. Yeah, because if track is required, that gives ways of, for solutions that have multiple arms. Yeah, right. There was even one shared in that channel where uh, a piston ended up being the good idea for cost, which <laughs> that makes I've sense. Never seen before. <laughs> All right, so here's a Biggie's CA showcase, which with, Bambi beat with an area of I think it was eighty-one. Bambi. Yeah. So yeah, this it's is. It's got too many big swings for her. Psycho's area, it seems. Yeah. I think Biggie mentioned that uh, he didn't have as much time to optimize for CA as he uh, would have liked. So, yeah. I mean, it is a showcase. Mm -hmm. And he barely spent like time on the scoring solve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> fair uh, enough. Didn't have time after Thursday. That's me this week. I kind of didn't have time after Thursday either, which is why I straight up didn't submit the cycles. Mm -hmm. Tight. Oh. Tight uh, making redemption arc. Yeah. This is definitely a, a yeah, cool batching. thing here going on with making these halves. You know what this reminds me of? What? This reminds me of the hair product solves everyone was doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hair <laughs> product height solves. It's just larger. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that weren't an inspiration. If that were an inspiration. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> that missing bond really makes hide easier. That's true. So you only have to make the one bond. It isn't called plagiarism if I made the universal compound height record myself. Oh, I see. So that's what it's from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it's based off of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it isn't plagiarism if it's yourself. <laughs> yeah, I remember I got the um, when I got the life sensing potion sum record. I then plagiarized myself to take the invisible ink sum record. <laughs> it was just it was a really good animism idea. <laughs> so here's a, a width solve for Marpio. Interesting. It's quote unquote min width. Not sure. I don't think six is min. <laughs> yeah. Is it? It I have seems no like idea. five point five would be the min. I'm not a uh, with aficionado. Nice waist chain though. Always nice to see with waist chains. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. Mm, is it min width? I'm trying to do the. It seems like a five point five would be possible. It's not even min layers though. Oh my, oh my fucking god, you don't min layers. <laughs> it's unacceptable. 
Alright, yeah, thanks thanks for this RPO. Uh, Glass Lady, I just think it's neat. Like the title says, I just wanted to get a solve. Yeah. Yeah, so this one's making Valid. the C shapes and bonding them together like that. It, uh, well, you beat Grimmy on cost, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all be Grimmy on cost. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Just on the other metric. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, thanks for submitting this. I like how it spins around arm four like that. Uh, next up is 7T Storm, third iteration. Experiment failure, only resulting in more of each. Is this? Which metric is this supposed to be? Not sure. I like how it, like, the way it splits. Yeah. Seems to just be a cool thing. Yeah, um, splitting it like that. There were some cycle solves that did that. They would uh, bring it off the inputs in this shape and then bond and yeah. debond. Yeah. Do we, do Except we at an angle, so you don't have to rotate. Yeah, you don't have to slide over much. this way. But it we didn't get cool. any TI showcases, did we? Not yet. Uh, there, there are. Okay, that guy's probably cheap. Probably there are at least one. Uh, I'm not sure. They're sorted by cost. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a speed solve, I believe, from Morconda. Nice. You can see the um, using one input. Morcon who won the speed solve, by the way? Uh, I don't remember. But this one has the fun. I think it might have been Morcon. Anything where it it. Takes the time to make another bond, and then, oops, <laughs> there's bond's not supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Speed solve moment. Oops, not fixing that. Just be bond. <laughs> I used to said said Morikanda did win. So yeah, this is the winning one. Nice. This is the speed solve win. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I can I show like you username voice. Four is actually conditional. Speed solve as well. The, oh yeah, for trying to fix the extra bond. But yeah, here's the username yeah. void speed solve. I can see why Morricon no one. Yeah. <laughs> and you can it's see. Actually, like on one. On one's cool. Also, making and breaking the bond. Apparently, <laughs> it's not very visible in the. Uh... It's not. Yeah, it's not very visible. I, I guess so. You throw it on the output and like, huh. <laughs> so yeah, free tip for speed solve puzzle designers: add a bond that. It looks like it should be there, but isn't, and you'll, um, it'll be fun for everyone. And you trip people over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. So here's the TI from Caluresis. Thirteen. Thirteen TI. Final assembly is from Quintessential Aerogel. Ah, I see. It's the duplication has a use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the uh, strat that people were talking about before, where you just use um, this input and duplicate off of that one. Funny. Two instruction arm. <laughs> yeah, the the fabled two instruction arm. I do agree with Kelly Reese. I do think it goes lower than 13 in theory. Yeah, mm -hmm. knowing DSP, I think it goes lower. Yeah, if uh, I guess uh, if this goes on the leaderboard bot, we'll see what people come up with for it. All right. I reckon that missing bond could be really annoying for TI. Uh, or, or not. Mm -hmm. You have to say. You probably it's probably not hard to debug. What's this supposed to be? Uh, this is a solve? this is forty two genius forty two's old cost solve. Um, ah. Before uh, got getting uh, wasteless, I guess. Yeah, this would have been twenty ninth place. Ah. So yeah, I guess uh, the effort put into this solve. Ah, spending two plus days programming, <laughs> eventually not using it. Yeah, so. Good, good to submit it to showcase so at least it can have its time to shine yeah uh, for a little bit here i'll let it go do we have to turn on cheat engine again yeah i oh, know it's only 2439 <laughs> cycles uh-huh you can watch the thing zoom across there it doesn't at least it doesn't do stick walking yeah and it's uh i guess scripted out to 1p yeah probably 1P. oh yeah it is Oh yeah. Uh, 
the world if the second input didn't exist. So I guess this is another um, cost solve oh, that was gonna do the coil. was beaten. This looks like a waste ball solve. Mm -hmm. Let's speed it up a bit. See what it's doing. No, I don't get how. One seventy one. Wait a minute. Is is one seventy one <laughs> the area that everyone got? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So this is probably just that solve. Actually, this is faster than both of those. Is it? I'm not I sure. Think it is. Uh, I think the two. I don't remember. One, let me go check. I think they were in the sixteen hundred. So yeah, it, I think it is. One seventy one. Fifteen sixty one. Yeah, this would have been the best 171. Wow. Well, there you have it. The 171 pile up. Yeah. The secret. I still the... don't understand how Nova has only played this game for like <laughs> a month before joining the tournament because this is some high level shit. <laughs> uh, and I think well, that I might be. Mention... Yeah. In their solution title, they were strongly inspired by Lost of Syrup, which was absolutely a good puzzle to be inspired by for this mm -hmm. for this metric this week. Who created the puzzle again? Lost of Syrup. Um, that was a collaboration between Haxton and I. Ah, uh, I see. All right, so that's all the solves. I guess I'll go over um, week four. Bio steel Ew. filament. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, controversial puzzle. So. Huh. <clears throat> This one is a polymer output, infinite output, uh, so-called. Uh -huh. And the input is the other output from waste reclamation, uh, along with an yeah. I. And the two metrics are area and sum four, I think, in the other yeah, one. Yeah, when they get the iron, that's a rare thing these days. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. Everything's gone now. <laughs> they had to dip into their... Uh, emergency supplies emergency iron reserves mm -hmm. but yeah week four is open uh until a week from now approximately minus like three and a half hours whatever it looks like pain <laughs> yeah have fun i'll try <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh i think that's it yeah long stream for sure uh, but yeah, oh, sure. how long have we been going? Uh, about oh, three wow, hours. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the longest one yet. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, the I think the the cost primary didn't really help with that with the amount of time it takes the solutions to run and yeah. figure out what they're doing. Um, Especially I think, since we wanted to finish seeing the waste ball ones. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes in the future. And uh, three hours is still like three. Yeah, Three hours, nineteen minutes, and it's not bad. It's not out of. That's the... like still within the ballpark, mm -hmm. usual ballpark of mm -hmm. stream length. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, thanks uh, Bist and Zorflax for commentary, and thanks everyone That's for all, right. all the work you're doing on your solutions. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. All right. Take care. Everyone. See y'all. Bye. See ya. Bye.